everyone welcome back i'm just gonna switch my lights to be a little bit less green okay hi <laughs> uh we have a lot of cat things to talk about like a significant number of cat things because yesterday i couldn't stream um because of cat things <laughs> so we'll we'll chat we've got many a cat update more cat updates than normal actually which is rare because i've had a lot of cat updates recently but it should be fun I'm looking forward to it. While we let people load into the stream here though, I'm gonna get my save file open so that we can game. I'm ready. <laughs> hey Jake, thank you for the 33 months. Thank you so much, that's so generous of you. Thank you, hi. Who stole it? The vet, she stole three of my cat's teeth. Now my cat is toothless, sort of. <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> We'll talk about it. <laughs> Venus, thanks for the 25 months, and Lolly, and Astrid, and Das, and Kat, and Abs. Uh, we got Chaos Ollie as well. She is actually toothless. No, she's only minus three teeth. How many cats do teeth have? Do <laughs> Sorry. How many teeth do cats have? 30. They have 30 teeth. Um, so she's down three. She's at 27 right now. Is how many teeth she has. How many, how many cats do teeth have? Do you guys know? <laughs> oh my god. All right, let me get some pictures of my cat pulled up while my game is out here loading. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me just get some pictures. She actually looks horrified in this image. Oh my god. You guys, this is gonna this is gonna be really quite something. Um, I'm getting a series of photos <laughs> for you. <laughs> oh, oh my god! So yesterday, my cat had dental surgery. Um, Snappy had to get some teeth removed. So uh, I will show you some pictures, and then I can show you some pictures of Frank after her spay as well. Yesterday was like surgery day in this household. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I've got a whole bunch of pictures I'm gonna show you. I literally have like a million pulled up. Anyway, we've been through a lot yesterday. <laughs> Amanda, Gabby, Tiny Potato, MZ, Grace. Uh, we got games and Spun and Kelsey and Chaos and Mrs. Minecraft and Fluffy and Void and Kellen and Breen and Jen. Uh, we got Spooky and Bubble and Alexandra and Soulflower, uh, Biblio, Heg, Mervin. Thank you all so much for the subs and stuff. Um, <laughs> Both of my teeth have all their cats because they're babies. Oh, right. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I, I say something embarrassing on stream, it becomes like a whole thing and people quote it like repeatedly. So this, how many cats do teeth have? I just know. I'm never going to live it down. Like this is going to just, we're going to bring it up for weeks. Weeks. <laughs> You're the person who said hi, little Susie, in the YouTube premiere. Nice, Ultra Zip. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, everyone. So basically, here's my cat update for today. Um, poor little Snappy, my angel cat, had to have dental surgery yesterday. Um, she had at least one tooth that we knew needed to get pulled, but um, they couldn't really like look at her before she went under anesthesia because she wouldn't let them. So they didn't know about the rest of her mouth. <laughs> Um, but they were sure at least one needed to be pulled. And then yesterday she had like a full dental exam. Um, they cleaned her teeth and they removed three teeth. Um, cats, a lot of times older pets have dental problems. It's not that uncommon. Um, but anyway, she had to get three teeth removed yesterday. Um, and so she did that. She was at the vet literally all day. <laughs> like I dropped her off at 7.30 in the morning and I had to pick her up at 5.30 in the evening. And the vet's office closed at five. So it was like a whole thing. I have never been so stressed in my life that I was yesterday because they said, oh, we'll probably be able to pick her up around 1.30. And then 1.30 came by and then 2.30 went by and then 3.30 went by and then 4.30 went by. And I was like, oh my God, is my cat alive? <laughs> I called them like four times being like, are there any updates on Snappy? <laughs> Um, it's just, I think, um, there were probably some delays on things and then it took a little longer because it was three teeth and all this stuff. But anyway, it was very stressful for me personally. I was very upset all day yesterday because I was so worried about her. Um, 
I went to pick her up at the vet and they were just raving about how kind she was and how good she is and what an amazing, gentle, loving cat you have. And I was like, I know she's perfect. Um, and they gave Snappy a certificate of bravery. <laughs> after her surgery, which made me so proud of her. So I have this little, I, I can't show you because it's got like the vet's name on it and stuff, but it says um, like certificate of bravery, snappy. Um, and here's the thing. I don't want to be rude, but one of my family's other cats, Frankie, the stray, the mom that we found, she got spayed yesterday. So she also had surgery yesterday at the same vet and she didn't get a certificate. So... I don't know, I'm just saying, one of the cats seems to be a winner. <laughs> well, 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 guess who got a certificate? <laughs> Which means it's a serious award, I think, the fact that Snappy got one. Um, but anyway, so I picked her up last night at like 5.30, and oh my god, while I was standing there talking to the vet about like after care for her surgery and, and these sorts of things, poor Snappy tried to stand up in her carrier and she kept falling over because she was like all loopy and stuff still, little, little wibble wobbly after the anesthesia. They had to keep her for a while post anesthesia too because she has kidney disease, so they have to like keep her on fluids for a bit because of her kidneys. She also had chest x-rays yesterday, um, things are looking good. So anyway, <laughs> here's a picture of Snappy. Um, uh, as soon as we got home. Um, yeah. <laughs> she was uh, not thriving in the car on the way home. <laughs> Wide eyed, absolutely stunned, okay? And then, let me just triple check that I don't have the picture of the. Um, make sure I've got the right ones pulled up. Okay, I do. Anyway, look. Then this is her, we came into my bedroom immediately. Um, and cause she's missing some teeth and she was like a little unaware and probably all numbed and stuff. Her tongue started sticking out. Um, and then it just started sticking out more and more. <laughs> oh my God, what is that? I've never seen such a serious like blep before, <laughs> but it just kept sticking out more and more. I shouldn't laugh, it's not right to laugh. But look at her. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So I took like a million pictures of her because she looked so ridiculous. <laughs> the way she was just sitting there like that. She looked so funny. Oh my god. Oh. Anyway, oh, this is from this morning also. Um, those are, as you can see, she's still got her bottom teeth going strong. Um, so that's from this morning when we had breakfast. <laughs> Um, here's a picture of her, of her sleeping. Um, the next picture that I'm gonna show you is, it's not graphic, but there are stitches visible and like some shaved skin. So just wanna warn you. Um, I'll tell you when to close your eyes if you don't wanna see it. But basically Snappy also had like a little like cyst on her back. The vet said it was fine. Like it's never been a problem for her and she can't get to it to mess with it. So it's no big deal. Basically just said like, oh, just leave it for the past like few years. Well, while she was under yesterday, the vet said that she was messing with it and then she popped it by accident. Um, and so she was like, well, I guess I'll just like clean it out completely and then like stitch it back up. So Snappy also had her cyst removed yesterday on her back. Um, now is where you might want to close your eyes if you don't want to see the picture. It's not graphic at all. There's just stitches. It's very small, but just close your eyes till you want to open them. Um, here's Snappy's little uh, shaved spot on her back. <laughs> she looks so funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's not like, it's, it's obviously not gross. Um, but she has a little shave spot on her back and also on her, on her arm. Um, you can probably open your eyes again, chat, by the way, if you don't want to see it. <laughs> it's fine. I got rid of it again. Um, but she's, she's got a little shave spot on her back too because of that. Um, so she's looking kind of funny. I don't know what, the, oh, here's Snappy under my bed also. So she's been very wibbly wobbly all day. Um, after this, she's been like, she, she's kind of stumbly when she walks. Um, I can't trust her to get off of the couch by herself because she, the first time she tried, she literally tumbled off the couch. Like she went to reach down to like step, the couch is like this tall, by the way, it's very low. And she stumbled down it and like forward rolled, which was, oh my God, kind of scary. So anyway, she can't be trusted. Um, so I have to watch her very closely. She's been wibbly wobbly all day today too. I thought it was just gonna be yesterday after her anesthesia wore off, but it's, she's been wibbly wobbly today. So I've been keeping very close eye on her because um, of it. Um, and also the other thing, um, she's under my bed right now. She's still asleep, Christine. Um, it's, it's very warm in there because it gets direct sun all day. So she likes it in there. She's right here. <laughs> 
uh, this is the exact spot that I left her in. Um, but anyway, so uh, the other thing is that I've had to give her meds, obviously. Um, it's just gabapentin, but I had to give her meds last night and this morning. And the most recent cat that I had to give meds to was Frankie, the stray that we took in. And let's just say that, that giving meds to my beloved kitty of 15 years is a lot easier than giving meds to a stray that I found two weeks ago. <laughs> it was so simple. I was prepared for an absolute nightmare disaster of a time. It was fine. So easy. I took Snappy's bandage off her leg. She just let me hold her like a baby and unwrap it. When I had to take Frankie's bandage off, she acted like I was trying to kill her. Like I, I had to get Dan to help me because someone needed to hold her and then remove it. It's like night and day. Snap is like, it. I mean, obviously she trusts me more because I've known her her whole life and Frankie just, I mean, I just met her and snatched her off the street. So I get it. <laughs> but oh my God, the difference in trying to help Snappy with this versus helping Frank has been so extreme. <laughs> uh, poor Frank did not want me to give her medicine or to take off her bandage, which is hard because like, obviously I'm helping her, but um, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, that, it's been a lot easier helping Snappy with this than it was helping Frank. Um, so Snappy has done really well. I wanted to show you guys also some pictures because like I said, Frankie also got spayed yesterday. Um, so Frankie has been uh, home and recovering from her spay. She has this like little cone um, that is an orange slice that I bought for her. Um, so this is a picture of Frankie. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? So Frankie got her space surgery yesterday, so she's um she's been thriving. Well, maybe not thriving, but <laughs> she's been she's been home sleeping and stuff. Um, but that's her in her little cone. So she doesn't like it, but I like it, and she needs it because she keeps trying to lick her wounds. So whereas Frank, she's in my parents' house. She's my my family has adopted her, so my sister has been with her twenty four seven over the past couple days. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Um, she's gonna, this is gonna be good for her. So I keep telling the babies, I'm sorry, you're never gonna have any more siblings again. And luckily, Frank, you're never gonna have more babies again. You don't have to worry about this anymore. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it ever again. <laughs> so yeah, the collar has been nice for her though. It's um, easier than having her wear the, the cone that like the vets give because it's more comfortable. So anyway, I'm sure she's relieved. I'm sure she's very, very relieved to have no more babies. It's gonna be a kind of rough couple weeks for her, obviously, recovering from the surgery, but um, she's gonna be okay. Life will be good. Yeah, this is my old bedroom. They're in my childhood bedroom at home. And then I also have some kitten updates for you um, on my kitties, my babies. Um, Cause yesterday actually was like the best day of their lives cause there was no grouchy old cat at home all day. So they got to have like free reign of the house completely all day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we do like some, like Snappy is very sleepy cause she's just old. So they get to hang out outside of their room a lot, but um, not as much as yesterday. <laughs> Let me show you. I posted this picture online already, but this one was them helping me record my trailer reaction yesterday. And it was making me laugh so much cause you see Sunny was sitting in the windowsill. So there's like a cat in the windowsill. There's this one is shrimp um, on the bottom of my chair right here. It's so cute. They were being so cute yesterday. Um, so you want to watch, I, I did, I filmed a trailer reaction to the new Sim stuff pack yesterday and they were um, heavily featured. Let's just say that. Couple other updates. Here's a picture of shrimp yesterday. Do you see how enormous this guy's paws are? I'm telling you, he's gonna be huge. They are in such an awkward stage right now. They are like so weird and lanky because they're like cat teenagers. <laughs> but do you see how enormous his hands are? I bet he's gonna be huge. Look at it, it's like the size of his head. Oh my gosh. Here's a picture of me um, trying to hold his paw for scale. <laughs> he's like a little baby panther, yeah. Um, and here's a picture of him sleeping on the carpet. Again, look at his paws. They're like the size of his head. Anyway, he's gonna be big, I think. <laughs> he's not, he's not, like his sister isn't that big, but he is. So anyway, I'm excited to watch them grow up. I keep wondering like how big he's gonna end up being when he's grown for real, but yeah, I wonder who, I wonder how big their dad was. I wonder who their dad was. 
We'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. This one is shrimp. Uh, they're about 14 weeks old now. Their next vet appointment is uh, next week, next Thursday. So I'll give you an updated wait soon. But um, anyway, <laughs> we'll see. Frankie's not big at all. Frankie's not even eight pounds. Frankie's like 7.8 pounds or something. So their mom is not big. She's small. He's gonna be huge. He's probably four pounds now. But anyway, Frankie's only little. But next week, because I need to visit the vet every week. I know. I literally have been to the vet every single week for months. I've got a vet appointment next Thursday and then the Wednesday after that. By the way. I'm always there. I'm a regular. <laughs> I'm there every day, basically, at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are that's my cat update for today. So... <laughs> Um, what happened to the teeth? Oh, Snappy had her, uh, had three teeth removed. I'm sorry, it's so mean to laugh, you guys. It's so mean to laugh at a sick elderly cat who had teeth pulled. But, like... <laughs> you should see her stumbling around, too. She can't even walk because she's still so, like, loopy from the <laughs> anesthesia. Like, it's so hard not to laugh. It's so hard not to laugh. <laughs> Anyway, um, why does she look like that? Because, well, one, she's missing teeth at the front of her mouth. She, uh, this canine was removed. Um, and I don't, I think that she was sort of numb still from the surgery and, like, waking up still from the anesthesia. So I don't, I honestly don't think that she knew her tongue was out. Fully unaware. Had not a clue her tongue was out. And she was just sat sitting like that. It started less. And then it just got more and more. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. It's not funny. I'm sorry, Steph. I'll stop laughing at you. It's hard. It's so hard not to laugh at you. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's very funny looking. So anyway, <laughs> that is my cat update. <laughs> that is my cat update. And she's been eating really well today. Um, last night, the vet said to only give her a small amount of food when we got home because they were worried about her feeling sick after the anesthesia. Um, and today she's been eating really well. She actually asked for food again, like in the early afternoon, which she doesn't normally do, but I just gave her more food anyway. Like she's eaten more than she normally does today, but I think that's probably for the best because she didn't eat at all yesterday really because she had to fast before her surgery and then she was like, you know, being operated on. <laughs> so that makes me feel good though because I don't think that it's causing her a lot of pain. Um, yeah, just soft food. She has to only eat soft food for a couple of weeks, but she already pretty much only eats soft food. I do let her have a little bit of dry food normally to like graze on kind of, but she doesn't really, she hasn't really ever in her life eaten that much of it. She's on a specialized uh, kidney care prescription diet because of her kidney disease also. So <laughs> um, not just any soft food, okay? She's on fancy soft food. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's... Um, She's, she's doing okay. So anyway, <laughs> we're not building the cruise today. No, we're, um, we're playing not so berry today was the plan. Um, that is, that is the plan. So <laughs> I can't imagine I'm trying to have your cat fast. She'd probably end you. You know, Snappy's not the most food motivated cat that I've met. She's not as like, I know some cats are very dramatic about demanding to be fed. Snappy's form of drama about demanding to be fed is like sitting on you while you're sleeping. She doesn't like make noise really or or like some people's cats like try and like claw on their head. She doesn't do that. <laughs> um, she does make noise, but not when she's asking for food. So <laughs> she's not that dramatic. Um, and I, I've met some dramatic cats, but she's not one of them. So. Did I get to keep the teeth? No, I didn't ask for them. Hope was trying to tell me to ask for them, but I didn't, I don't know if I wanted to see. <laughs> I'm a coward who didn't ask. I don't know. I don't know. Don't be rude though, Hope, that's really mean. I've been through a lot the past couple days. Your cat in general is just very vocal. Yeah, Snappy has gotten a lot more vocal in her, um, as she's getting older, she's she's gotten a lot more vocal. I think it's partially because her hearing is getting pretty bad. Um, 
so she's like becoming louder but she didn't used to be as like screamy <laughs> she is now you know what she will scream about she doesn't scream for food like some people's cats she'll scream because she wants to be brushed she'll go sit because i usually brush her on the couch she'll go sit on the edge of the couch and yell like hello brush me so she does yell about brushes but she doesn't yell about food so much <laughs> she likes to be brushed but <laughs> she's brush motivated this cat your cat likes yelling in the hallway because she likes the echo. Oh, that's so funny. Cats are so funny. I love that. I absolutely love that. Okay. I'm trying to get my, get reacquainted with what my Sims have been up to, I guess. So basically we've been playing the Not So Berry Challenge, obviously. Uh, this is the pink generation and we've got some kids that are the peach generation. Um, here's my house. Here's my graveyard. I collect them. In total, there's 234. Um, and the goal today is to hopefully get to teenage years with the kids. That's what I'd like to do. So that is my plan. <laughs> it's been funny also the babies. Um, Sunny and Shrimp have been getting a lot more vocal recently too. They didn't used to be as talkative. Their, their brother Sam, who my parents have, um, he was like really talkative. Uh, he, he would like yell at you <laughs> for everything, but they weren't so much. But now I think they're getting a little bit more confident in, in like everything. <laughs> and they'll sometimes Sunny, when she can't see shrimp, she will yell like, where did you go? And start screaming. She'll go to the top of the stairs and then be like, wait, where's my brother? Oh my God. And then start yelling like shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. And then he has to come look for her. Cause she gets like, she can't find him and she gets upset. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, and they'll also, they like sometimes will scream when they're playing and stuff, but he doesn't yell for her. She yells for him exclusively. But when she can't see him, she gets sad. <laughs> and it's usually her fault that she can't see him because she went somewhere. Ridiculous. <laughs> A snap can't hear them yelling, Pam. I'm not kidding. She's not got a clue. Like, she doesn't know that they're yelling at all. Really doesn't, really doesn't know. So. Anyway. She does hear some things. Like, sometimes if you, like, drop something or if you clap really loud, she can hear that. I think, like, high-pitched things she can hear. But, like, talking. You walk up behind her. She has no idea you're there. You have to like wave your hand in front of her. Otherwise she, she won't know that you're there. And I don't like to touch her because it scares her if, if she can't see you. So I like try and show her my hand, like tap the thing she's sitting on or something. Yeah. <laughs> she's uh, blissfully unaware of most things these days. <laughs> All right, let me sell some of this stuff. We also have some cute things from the kids. So maybe I could hang up some of their little stuff. Like this one has, their own little drawing and a little dentist certificate. Oh, dentist. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Oh, Kate, Among Us. We're playing Among Us, I think, on Tuesday. Before uh, you take my word for it, though, let me just check. Mm hmm. Tuesday, September 19th. We're playing Among Us on Tuesday. That is the plan. So, only in a few days, actually. Um, yeah, there is a new map coming out, Hope, but I think the new map comes out in October, if I am correct about that. Um, so, that is the plan. Oh no, not on a weekday? I'm sorry. <laughs> we are, um, we're trying to space out the Among Us streams, uh, on different sorts of days to make sure that everybody who wants to play has like an equal shot at, at being around because people have different work schedules and there's like 15 people that we're trying to make all have um, the ability to play. So anyway, what is the new expansion pack? Oh, Bestie, we have no idea. I don't know if we'll find out anytime soon either. They'll probably wait until the stuff pack is out and then tell us later, but we don't know. We are not sure. Okay, I need to do a better job taking care of this cat. Cause I'm, I've sort of failed it, so hold on. <laughs> hold on, pet care, mm. maybe brush you, I don't know. 
I don't know. Okay. Okay. You were so excited thinking the new expansion pack might be apartments in New York City, but then I was like, never have I ever known my New York City neighbors. <laughs> well, you aren't very neighborly, Hope. You're not, you're not a neighborly expansion pack up there in the city. I'm sure lots of people are very neighborly in the city. Just maybe not yours. <laughs> I know all their drama because I hear it through the walls. And you know what I have? I have the opposite. I know my neighbor's drama because I live in a suburban area with people that are a lot older than me. So they gossip and they know my drama too. Everyone knew I was a YouTuber. I didn't tell a single person. Somebody Googled and told everyone. <laughs> And they asked me about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> we know everybody's drama too. <laughs> anyway, I don't blame them. I would have Googled it too, but like, anyway. <laughs> You're so guilty of that? Oh yeah, in the same way. The difference is that I wouldn't tell my neighbors. I wouldn't be like, hey, you know that new person? YouTuber. I'll keep it to myself. You know what I would do? I would tell you guys. <laughs> if I learned drama, I'd be like, guys, guess what? I actually have neighborhood drama. My neighborhood drama is that, um, it's not really drama, but one of my neighbors is a off-leash dog walker. And listen, there's only one, one big dog on my street, okay? There's, there's big dog poop in my yard sometimes. I'm just saying. Assumptions have been made, okay? One of the houses on my street sold recently, very nearby to the off-leash dog walker. And all of a sudden, last week, there's please no pooping in our yard, like little dog, don't let your dog poop signs all over their front yard. Now, assumptions can be made <laughs> that maybe these poor new neighbors <laughs> have been dealing with the pooper, the non-picking up pooper. So anyway, kind of funny. <laughs> oh, there's ads playing. They're gonna think they missed big drama. It's not even, it's just the new neighbor has a no dog poop sign. They're gonna think there's something exciting. It's not, it's just, <laughs> it's not exciting at all. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna serve some pancakes up, I think. Anyway, they haven't pooped in my yard in a while, cynical. I don't feel as though I need to put up a please clean up your dog sign because it's not that big of an issue. But um, but anyway, it is kind of funny, so. <laughs> you learned how to crochet. Oh, Taryn, that's so cool. I love, I love crafty things like that, it's so fun. Oh, let's replace this. Your HOA sent out an email for people to leash their dogs the other day, uh-oh. I'm not a part of an HOA in this neighborhood. They don't have one, which is honestly kind of a win, so. <laughs> oh, you can like silly behavior. Okay, I need to work on princesses' um, skills and stuff, I think. So, okay, um, maybe I will grab like a school project again. And we shall start there. Solar system, maybe? Okay, guys, this, that was really bad timing for ads to play, but I had already snoozed them three times, so I couldn't push it anymore. You did not miss anything exciting. It sounds like there was tea. The only tea is just that my neighbor put up a don't poop in my yard sign. That's it. That was all. That It's not like drama. It's just... <laughs> they put up a, like, clean up for your dogs kind of sign. You know how they have those, like, it's like a picture of a little dog and it says, clean up after your dog. Yeah, that's the only drama. You didn't, it wasn't like... The ads came at a time that made it seem like there was some big suspense. It was, it was just, yeah, <laughs> that was it. And then I bought my sim a school project and that's all you missed. There was nothing else. <laughs> Mooney and Saren and Kate Donor and Chan and Sarah and everybody. I'm so sorry. I didn't read any subs because I was talking about my cat and her teeth, but thank you all so much. I really appreciate you all so much. You have no idea, especially because my cat's teeth are really expensive. So thank you. <laughs> Oh, the other thing, I've told this story on stream before. Also, I'm turning my fan on because I'm dumb and wore a sweater and it's like a million degrees in here. So sorry if you can hear it, but um, 
the other big drama about dog poop in my neighborhood. This isn't like quite right near my house, okay? I, I see this house on my morning walks every day. So it's not like in my immediate vicinity, but it's nearby. And a, a couple months ago, a few months ago, I saw this person. She didn't see me turn the corner, so she didn't know I was on the street. And I watched her pick up her dog's poop in a bag. She had a bag. She's like looking around. She sneaks it and hides it behind a tree in this person's front yard. And I know for a fact that she is not the person who lives there because I see the people who live there and it's not them. And they, those people have a dog too, but it's not that dog. She literally was like, and then she hid the poop there. And I was kind of far away from her. I'm also not confrontational, so I'm not gonna be like, excuse me, you know, but I watched her. She picked the poop up and then put the bag down. So maybe, maybe she intended to come back for it or something. But it is weird behavior to like hide poop behind someone else's tree in their front yard. Like, what? Come on. But like every other dog owner, you bring it with you. You carry it with you. You throw it away when you get home in your own trash can when you get home. But she hid it and she knew she was being weird because she was like sneaking, looking around. Ridiculous. Ooh. See, look, poop, trash can. <laughs> anyway, um, I love the I love the neighborhood drama. It's very fun. You have a crush on Perry? Go for it. I don't even know Perry. Okay, I have some free time today. I might come talk to my horse for once. To be fair, aren't you selling it? Oh yeah, I'm I'm selling my horses or my dog's poop. <laughs> Okay, come on. Perry the platypus? Honestly, he seems like a nice guy. All right, maybe I will ride the horse and do some practice. The stream keeps freezing for you? Uh-oh, it's not currently uh, lagging on my end, so it might be your internet that's causing it, but that's kind of sucks, I'm sorry. I very, very apologize. All right. Do Americans not have like outside trash cans for dog poop like managed by the city? No, we do have that in certain areas, but not in like residential areas. People were saying that when I told the story last time on stream. If you were at like a park, they would probably have trash cans and say like, clean up after yourself. And there'd be like even bags offered to you in public places. But when you're just like in a street full of people's houses, there's not gonna be like public trash cans in the street of people's houses because no one's gonna clean that up. If there's trash cans, it would like belong to someone. And I think in general, it's usually, usually kind of frowned upon to put your dog's poop in someone else's trash can. I don't really care. I would rather you pick it up and put it in my trash can than leave it in somebody's yard. Like I don't, it doesn't really bother me, but I think some people would be mad if you left dog poop in their trash can. Um, so you're like, the, what you should do is carry it home with you and throw it away at your house. And that's what my family's done my whole life. So that's very normal to me. Look, poop, trash. But yeah, there would be public bins all over the place in like more public areas. But when you're in like just a residential, very residential street of houses, like single family houses too, not like a, I don't know if there was like apartments, there might be more stuff like that, but not around here, <laughs> not around here. Um, if there was, if it was like higher densely populated probably, but not where my house is. Um, okay, let's ride the horse. You guys don't have trash collecting systems? Well, you do, but like, you know, I, I like pay monthly to the city and they come and pick it up once a week at my house. But that isn't the same as like picking up a public trash can. We don't have like a public trash can in my neighborhood. I think that we're just from sort of different areas. Maybe you're from a more urban area than I am. Um. So, you have to pay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think that you can opt out of it though. I think that it's like automatic. I don't know, it's on my water bill to the city. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
You pay through your taxes? Yeah, you might pay, th I mean, you probably pay through taxes and you don't realize. I pay through like bills to the city, so. Um, must just be different in different places, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm sure it's very different in other pla other cities in America too. I just only know from my, my personal experience in the city that I live in. <laughs> but you definitely pay for it too. It might just be paid through taxes or something else. Um, it almost, it feels more free when it's through taxes though, doesn't it? Over a bill. Even though you're paying the taxes, it's like, I don't know. It does feel like it's free. <laughs> Cause you don't really think about like the way the stuff goes in taxes as much <laughs> and it gets like automatically taken out. And that's true. If you rent, sometimes the landlord will pay for it. That's true. Yeah, depending on, uh oh, I'm almost killing Alan. Uh oh, someone take care of Alan quick. Okay, fill food, feed, treat, play with. I got it, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> oh, your city doesn't have trash collection, so you have to pay a private company to do it. Interesting. Interesting. Um, rather pay for things in taxes, rip the American healthcare system. Oh my God, don't even get us started on this, huh? Oh. Set up a timer and remind us of the rat. We maybe should. We have to, no, as long as we make an effort to do it every other day at least, and that sounds so bad, I know. But I mean it, as long as we make an effort with the rat every other day, we should be okay. It's just hard, cause like, it doesn't need its food fill every day. You can't fill it every day. So then I think that I'm like fine, and then all of a sudden it's dying, and I have to be really careful to keep an eye on it. So, the rat's name is Alan. Like, um, oh my god, look at the preview picture of Peppa! <laughs> That's so funny! Anyway, this is, this is Peppa, my sister. She's in a Peppa Pig costume. Um, I'll chat to her, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's water fun day. Oh, should we go swimming? Do a backflip. Let's jump into the pool. Maybe we can all go for a swim. Swim laps. So we can celebrate. I like that. Yeah, Alan like Barbie's Alan, yeah. Um, I also have a cat named Ken in this game, so. <laughs> it's kind of cute, right? <laughs> All right, do a backflip, do a flip, do a flip. I'm gonna get a screenshot. Yes! That's so fun. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. <laughs> um, all right, I'll let them just keep going. Does the other sibling wanna come play? Did I like Faye Farm? You know, Indigo, I did. I thought Faye Farm was really fun, to be honest. It's, um, it's very similar to a lot of the other farming sim, like, cozy games that have come out recently. They all have a lot of very similar, like, core gameplay with some, like, relative differences in, like, the ti the kinds of townies and the world and, and some of the small mechanics, like, how does mining work? How does fishing work? But it's very similar to a lot of the, um, cozy games like that that have come out recently. It's really cute. I love the art style. I love the world. Um, I like the vibes. I think that I will probably really enjoy playing it. Um, it isn't like the most unique game on the market, but still fun. It is a little pricey, um, but that's, you know, isn't everything these days. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's a little, I, I don't know. I wish it was maybe like half the price or something, but I like it. It's fun. And I'll, I mean, I'll play any farm sim cozy game, so. I wouldn't like not recommend it, I would recommend it, but you know better than me what your um, preference is. Yeah, I, I, they, I had a sponsored stream playing it last, was it on Monday or something? To remember. <laughs> this week's been wild for me, I don't know. It feels like it's Saturday, I don't know what day it is anymore. <laughs> it's only Friday, so. Um. Pulp is still around. Yeah, I keep uh, aging down pulp so that she won't die on me. So. 
Okay, horsey, how are you doing? Energy poor. Was that your social slow again? Maybe I'll talk to you a few times. Okay. And then maybe I can ask the horse to come to bed. All right. After you're done talking to Pulp, you have to grill me some food. Grill. Will I play it on stream again? Maybe, Jan. I was thinking about playing Fay Farm on Saturday. Su Sunday. On Sunday morning. If I stream on Sunday, I might play Fay Farm a little bit. How come the horse's name isn't Barbie? Because the Sims name is Barbie. This actually predates the Barbie movie, by the way. Um, she's part of the pink gen of Not So Berry, hence the Barbie vibes. Pink Barbie, you know. <laughs> you know, I actually haven't played Pelia yet. I'm so sorry. I still, I mean to, but there's been so much going on and then like, you know. So I haven't played Pelia yet. I want to, but I haven't played it yet. If I play it this weekend, then I'm not gonna wanna play anything else, I bet. And that's gonna be a problem, but. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Grab a serving. Everybody, let's come eat some dinner. I made you all snacks again. Come along, let's go. Come along. You've had it installed since closed beta and you haven't played it either? Oh my God. <laughs> no, I know I would like it. I haven't picked it up yet though. All right. You didn't finish your water fun? Can I pretend you did? Can I pretend you did too? Sorry, I'm a cheater, but I want to. There's so many good games to play in so little time. I know we keep joking about this, but like genuinely, the cozy gamers have been thriving this year. So much good stuff has come out this year. Okay. There we go. You finished the day, that's pretty good. Jumping in the pond three times works. <laughs> that's terrible. I'm gonna have this sim come do some backflips quickly. Come here, Barbie. I didn't even watch it yesterday, Christine. Um, was there any, wait, okay, here's a question from the Nintendo Direct yesterday. Was there anything that would excite me at all? Any single things that might make me feel joy or maybe not excited for the princess peach game princess peach that's my sims name you had high hopes for an animal crossing reboot and nope oh i'm not that's not even on my radar i don't believe that we'll ever get a thing that beautiful no we probably will i just i don't trust them it's gonna be a while i bet i don't think we'll get an animal crossing anything animal crossing new until there's a new switch or a new Nintendo console, at least. Unfortunately. Okay, how about this? I kind of want to get a little, um, I'm thinking, and tell me if I'm smart or silly for this. I'm thinking that I kind of want to build a little uh, custom grill situation. Yeah, I've heard people say that there's a new Nintendo console in the works, but. I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. I was the kid that called Sims 2 music grandma music. I'd like to apologize for my actions. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, you made my day when you said that. I'm serious. I remember that vividly and it made my day. So don't, don't apologize. Thank you. That was so funny. Like genuinely, that was like kind of iconic. So don't feel bad. Legend, you're a legend. All is well, don't worry about it. <laughs> Apology accepted, that was so funny. <laughs> they came in, they were like, what's this grandma music playing? <laughs> uh, the Sims 2 soundtrack. <laughs> they said, I take back my apology. Good, good. That's more like it. Okay, um, I wanna have like a little built-in bar, but the vibes are off, aren't they? And there isn't a matching bar for this. Maybe I can pretend that it's a bar. I don't know. Eh. Feeling unsure about this. I don't really need to have a big, maybe I don't need to have a big built-in thing. You know what? Let's make something else. We had a fire pit originally. There's also potential for a hot tub out here.
Because, oh my gosh. Well, there you go. Problem solved. Problem solved. We can do that. Also, Jarby, Sammy, Charney, and E-Girl, and Charlie, and Fox. Thank you for the sub, everybody. How much are bills on Monday? Probably like 8,000. So we have some, we have some money. I think the bills were like 8,000 last time. Maybe 7,000? I don't remember exactly. But it's not going to be too bad, I don't think. You know what will be fun? If instead of a... Oh my gosh, how about this? Instead of getting a, um, a fire pit... Or we could get a fire pit. What if we decorated with a little camper's kit stuff? And we made like a cute little kid's area. <gasps> oh. You guys, it's so cute. When the next Sims 3 stream is. Oh, Bestie, here's the problem with the Sims 3 stream. I was supposed to stream it yesterday, but then my cat had to have all these teeth removed. Um, and then I didn't stream it yesterday. <laughs> um, so I'm not exactly sure. I need to think about my schedule for next week to figure out the next day that we'll do it. But um, you can currently blame Snap and her elderly teeth because um, my, uh, my schedule got a little bit interrupted because of it. Maybe I don't want a hot tub right now. Maybe I'll save the hot tub for a future day. And instead, I can decorate like a cute little outdoor space. And I'll put a fire pit. Don't you dare blame Snap, she's an angel baby. No, it's not her fault. It's not her fault. It happens to the best of us. I had to get teeth removed too. I get it. Absolutely no room to judge. Okay, um, that is so cute. Maybe we can put, it comes in pink. And then maybe I can get like, a little, set of chairs around a fire pit for now. Oh, those don't come in pink. Can we do a slumber party? Oh my God, that would be so cute. Annoyingly, I think that, um, I think that it's a Sunday. So we might not be able to, but if it's Saturday, then we can. Oh, these are cute. There, and then they can sit in these chairs on the inside to watch too. That seems good, right? Oh yeah, it's already 11.30 at night. Maybe we shouldn't do a party today. <laughs> Should we do a slumber party on a school night? Is that bad if we did it tomorrow? Probably not good. Celebrity level lost! Oh my god, we have to get back to writing tomorrow. Oh my god. That's horrible. Okay. <laughs> New meal, Daisy, Ainsley, thank you for the subs. They can sleep at school. That's right, I'm like the, I'm like the cool mom. I'm like the cool mom, so it's fine. <laughs> What's the cat news? Oh, Alice, Alice, I'll show you. Um, here's my little cat update for you. I have two. Um, first cat update. Snappy had to get three teeth removed yesterday. Proof of cat. Um, I'm sorry, it's, you're allowed to laugh. She's okay. <laughs> um, and then the mom of the stray kitties that I found, she got spayed yesterday. Uh, here's that. So. Isn't that cute? Anyway, <laughs> that's uh, that's the snappy update. I just can't, I can't. When she was doing this last night, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, the donut, she's got the donut on, poor Frank. She can't be trusted though. Oh, look at you two. Wait, I'm gonna try it, wait. I want a picture of you two. 
Hold on. Pulp and horse. Hmm. <laughs> and my graves. Honestly, like, gang's all here. <laughs> And the ghost in the background. This is actually um, this sim. Uh, this is, okay. So basically, um, her name is that. She was a uh, part of the Legacy Challenge many years ago. She was the fourth Holly in the family. We had like basically uh, her. She was a baby with Santa, and that's why her name is Holly. But before that, we had like a cousin named Holly. Um, I I'm dated my Sims ex-husband's stepdad and he had a kid named Holly so my my Sims ex-husband had a half-sister named Holly um, and I I dated the stepdad and then like took in adopted that Holly um, there was like we had like all these people named Holly in our family so I called her Holly four and then she died <laughs> and I pleaded for her and she came back to life so she was 4.1 it was a very chaotic era of this legacy challenge um, when all of that was going on. But yeah, she, you know how Sims, when they are, um, when they're teens, they have a lot of mood swings from parenthood. She died when she was aging up into a young adult from a teen because she was still in the mood swing. So I, I luckily pleaded for her and she came back to life and it was fine. But um, yeah, <laughs> it was a lot, it was a lot, so. What are those pink tadpole looking things in the inventory? Oh, this? It's a broken friendship bracelet. So. I remember that day. <laughs> We've been through a lot in this family over the years. Things are actually more normal right now, believe it or not. And that's saying something, because... Looks like a shrimp to you. It kind of does, and I like that. Yeah, Peppa's back. I, I did bring Peppa back to life. My Sim has a sister named Peppa. She did die also. Same thing with the mood swing, but I I um, let her die and then brought her back to life with Ambrosia. So she's good. She's alive. <laughs> she's doing fine. <laughs> All right. Happy Sunday, everybody. We'll have a, we'll have a lovely little uh, sleepover party tonight then. What build feature do you think we might get before the new expansion? Oh, Bestie, I haven't a clue. I really don't even know what to expect. The kind of things that I want at this point in The Sims 4 are probably not feasible anymore, so... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, you know what I want? Apartments. Building apartments. And everybody's talking about this pack and being like, oh my god, apartments. So the build feature I want is building apartments, but I don't know if that's like, is that even possible these days? Like after everything, I don't know. Or townhomes. Well, it, for me, an ideal world is that you could do anything. Like if you could build them, you could make a townhouse, you could make an apartment, you could make a duplex. Like if you could build it custom, you could do whatever. But neighborly, what does that even mean? Neighborly could mean anything. <sighs> you think the ability to build more than four floors will be the feature because you think it's going to be apartments. Interesting. That's actually not a terrible idea. That, I wonder if that's the case. And then you think that, so you think that the base game update is going to be the floor expansion. And then the pack thing will be the, like, multi-family lot. Is that what you guess? I guess I could see that. I don't know. I, I don't even like talking about it because I feel like it's unlikely and I feel like we're going to get upset when it's not true. Anyway, just so we're clear, I genuinely have not. They didn't tell me anything about this at all. I even asked them when it's coming out and they wouldn't tell me. <laughs> so I don't know anything about this one. <laughs> and not for lack of trying. <laughs> um, okay. Would you like to use the bathroom? <laughs> Um, maybe you could, we need to clean you. Brush coat, clean, clean again, hand feed, okay. 
do some gardening with Barbie. I don't know if my plants need, oh, they need water. I guess I need to do that. Okay, we'll garden today then. This Sims gotta take care of our needs bad. We're not doing so well. We might get burglars. If they added a burglar update, that would excite me so much. I miss that. You know the music in The Sims 3 when you're gonna get robbed? So good. I miss those days. I miss those days. <laughs> Loudly proclaim you're going to the post office and we'll get more info. <laughs> yeah, if I go out and tell people I'm busy, all of a sudden they're gonna drop a pack. Just you wait. I'm going to TwitchCon in mid-October. That's all I'm gonna say. If they drop something then, I wouldn't even be surprised. The last trailer came out when I was at VidCon, so. Anyway, you know they will. It like, honestly, the timing kind of checks out as well. Like two weeks after the stuff pack, I wouldn't be surprised. Just so we're clear, I, I don't actually know. Again, I asked and they wouldn't tell me. So <laughs> I literally asked because I was like, I'm going to TwitchCon and also my grandpa's birthday is in November and we're going to visit him. Um, and I would like to be able to buy those plane tickets and if I could I would like to buy them not when the pack is coming out so I asked and they said so anyway I don't know <laughs> I don't know okay yeah the kittens have to get neutered soonish neutered and spayed soonish too but not quite yet um I bet the pack will be out before then so anyway um Let's see. They, you told them your plan? <laughs> Maybe that was a bad idea, Hitch. I shouldn't have mentioned it, should I? <laughs> yeah, the vet wants to um, neuter and spay the kitties when they are about six months old, so. We still have some time before then. Your fun is poor. Well, that's your fault. Get it together. Ask the horse to play. Um, you need to use the bathroom and shower too. All right, do you have any friends, kiddo? Cause we're gonna do a little party tonight and you don't. Kids club, okay. Um, anything seem peachy? I like the rainbows. Age, child. Um, we've got Alex and Alexis. <laughs> Georgia is a cousin, and so it- no, that's my sibling. Oh my god, I'm sorry. What is wrong with me? That's literally my own sim. I think Lucas is a cousin. So that might be cute. We can invite a cousin over. And then... Emerson's a nice name? I like Cora. Oh. Oh, sorry, Cora. Guess you can't be invited because I gotta get my siblings in here. What the heck? It's like not working. Cora. Okay, got it. Oh, Lucas and Georgia have the same haircut. <laughs> okay, I should be able to have my, my little party tonight then. Maybe I will plan it now. Only teen sims or older can schedule events. Okay. At an event. Slumber party. Host? Princess. Guests? Oh. Does it not count your clubs? I guess I can do it from here. James. Georgia. Oh, Piglet! That's the cousin. There you go. Um... I said Lucas, right? Okay. That'll be good. We'll do it here, maybe at like 7 p.m.? That seems good. All right, we'll be ready for that then. Maybe you, how are you doing on your skills? You wanna have a slumber party. And you also wanted to, so in Not So Berry, um, this peach generation, the rules that we have to follow. I need to be like a musical sort of sim. Maybe I'll start practicing on the piano now as a kid. 
So we have to play an instrument. And we have to do the gourmet cooking and comedy skills when we're older. So we've got a lot of things like that to worry about. So we can start working on piano now when we're young. All right. Oh my God, you guys, I don't know who Delete is because I certainly didn't delete one of my Sims children. That is a ridiculous claim. Why, <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> I would never do something like that, you guys. Come on. Okay, write genre book. Let's write a screenplay. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. Um. Come grab all this. Are you not gonna write? Maybe she has to be sit down. Sitting down first. Sit. Write, resume writing. No, wrong thing. I wanna start a new book. Sit. Write. Write genre book. Let's do a playful book. How about that? Okay. Okay. Um. The Great Pickle Capers. You guys, can you think of another Barbie concept that we haven't already done? Because we've named so many Barbie themed books at this point. I don't even know what to... Oh, Barbie Slumber Party! Oh, that's cute. Oops. Barbie Slumber Party. We are an adult, by the way. She's an adult, not a young adult. She just recently aged up into an adult. Okay, good. James, maybe, honestly, maybe I'll age up James tomorrow because I'm open to aging him up a little bit early. What do you want to do in your spare time? Maybe you could go play with the horse. Oh, the horse is asleep. Go wake up the horse. That's fine. That's fine. Come on. The next generation is Peach, Chrome. Hug, talk to, rub neck. We can ride the horse too. When's the next shell challenge? Oh goodness, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I am not, not super sure. All right. Are you gonna, I guess she'll finish this relatively quickly. So I think the horse pack will be on sale soon because of the upcoming expansion. Ooh. I'm gonna go with probably not, to be honest. <laughs> um, it would be cool if it was, but I, I would bet it probably wouldn't be on sale until we actually know stuff about the expansion, which might, might be a couple months, so. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, Barbie is sick. I'll have to buy her some medicine soon. Self-publish. Oh, I have two to self-publish. I have a brief, brief history of Barbie also. But yeah, I bet it'll probably have like a, a holiday sale sort of situation, but I, I wouldn't count on it going on sale sooner than that. So. Okay. Take medicine. Why is shipping so expensive on my merch site? Oh, where are you trying to ship it to, Megs? I'm really sorry. Um, this is kind of like a merch closeout sale <laughs> is what's happening right now, in case it wasn't clear. Um, I'm gonna be moving to a different merch company, so we're doing a little final restock of the sensitive hoodie and like a closeout sale. So things are like literally 60% off. So if it makes you feel better, some of the t-shirts are like $10. <laughs> um, so at least there's a massive discount on, on, the, on the old stuff. So $30 shipping to Germany. Jeez, that's absolutely ridiculous. Don't buy it from it. That's too expensive. <laughs> That's ridiculous shipping, but um, I'm sorry that that's happening. That's no good. I can't really control that, obviously. And like I said, I'm leaving the merch company, so. Um, but anyway, we're doing a massive closeout sale of, of the merch. So, um, and those sensitive hoodies are restocked only for this weekend though. Um, it's only for this weekend. My merch is just lilsimsyshop.com. Um, just lilsimsyshop.com is the website. So I put it in chat a couple times. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, you guys. That's really not ideal. It does help that this stuff is on sale so heavily, but um, anyway. Will we get a sewer kitten cat cam soon? Well, I'm like, we've had them on stream a couple times, but they don't really sit still for cat cam sort of situations. They run around loads. <laughs> um, okay. Will the new merch website have Stanley plushies? I don't know, Loverboy. I haven't settled on a new merch company yet, nor have I um, decided what I'm gonna do again yet. So anyway, um, it's gonna be like new stuff though, <laughs> basically is the goal. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, what are you mad about? Stepped in pet poop? Well, that's your own fault. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know what to tell you about that, friend. Okay, sell that. You're still working on your piano. Okay. Cool. <laughs> very, very, very cool. All right. You've had your order canceled three times of the simulation gaming hoodie. Ray, I actually can't even wrap my head around that and how that has happened, but I know. I didn't, I didn't realize that was happening, but there's definitely been a couple issues with the merch, hence why. Like I said, I'm leaving the company, <laughs> so um, there won't be any issues with this print. I've been assured, <laughs> but, um, oh, Ken's running away, great. But yeah, it's, um, anyway, so I'm sorry if you had any issues with the merch previously, but anyway. Anyway, um... Well, if Ken wants to run away, then so be it. I don't know what to do about that, friend. I don't know what to do about that for you. Um, would you like to write another book too? Maybe we could do a science fiction one. How long is it on sale? Only for this weekend, Caitlin. Only this weekend. We're doing like a big closeout sale, like I said, but only until Sunday at midnight. And most of the stuff that's left on the merch site is like stuff that is, um, left <laughs> so like there there's like limited um options remaining because obviously it, we didn't like reprint the old stuff we did reprint the sensitive hoodies but the old stuff is is the old stuff so it's like if you wanted to get something it might be gone by sunday um but anyway um barbie the scientist I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's your birthday next week. That's exciting, Mel. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad to hear that. Okay. Come on. Finish the book. What do you want to do? I need to just give the kids like some activities to work on. Maybe you could practice yoga. That might be cute for you. Site for the merch. I can put it in chat again for you, friend. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry that the shipping is expensive, you guys. I didn't know that it was going to be expensive. So that's a little bit alarming to me. I would appreciate it if we could not complain about it so much right now because I'm starting to feel really, really stressed out and like kind of want to cry. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I'm really sorry. No, the hoodie is not on sale because it's a reprint Moon Pearl. The stuff, the, the rest of it, the closeout stuff is on sale. Does that make sense? The hoodie is new. Well, old, but it's a reprint. So it's new. It's like new, fresh stock. So anyway. I thought it was going to be exciting that <laughs> things were on sale, so I'm sorry if the shipping is expensive. Um, that's not ideal, obviously. I can't control that, so. Anyway. Um, anyway. Um, all right. I think that... Um, go wear your sensitive shirt, Kayla. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, you, like I said, I wanted you to go work on the various things. Maybe, maybe you could like, oh, maybe you can draw me some pictures. That might be cute. Maybe I could have you make me some, some decorations, like some fall crafts. I like that. Um, okay. Anyway, 
Did you serenity? That's really exciting. Yeah, some of the shirts are like $10 on the website right now, which is obviously like massively discounted. So, um, anyway, final run. So, yeah, Andrew, we're making people get all of the egg rolls before the clown discord roll. The clown roll is like the million point massive one after all the other rolls. Does that make sense? So. Hope the Sims merch has cow plant th themed things. Oh my god, I can't wait for the Sims merch. I want it so bad. I want to see more of it so bad. I like legitimately cannot wait to see whatever the Sims merch ends up being like. Okay. Is Stanley getting restocked? No, Roka, we're never doing a restock again of the current merch. Um, it's like a closeout sale because I'm not going to work with this company anymore after this. So um, it's, we only restocked the hoodies. <laughs> um, and then they're trying to like clear out the rest of the stock of what we have. So anyway, there's not gonna be any more restocks of any of those things. So as you keep the designs, I don't, I think Ainsley, what I would like to do if I switched March companies is think up some new stuff. So obviously we shall see, <laughs> um, but that's kind of what I was uh, envisioning. I'm not gonna suck the hoodie either. Not after this, no. It's a final, final, final print, so. Okay, get the mail. Void kitty merch. I like the concept of that. That's kind of a cute idea. I don't know. Um, all right, maybe use the bathroom too, friend. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You broke it! Look at how dumb this thing looks when it's broken, by the way. <laughs> it's like crumpled. <laughs> I always think that when I see it. It's so weird looking. All right, we have to play some games. Oh, that's what I don't have is a games table. You know what? That might be a cute thing to add. I like it. Alex, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much, by the way. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it looks like it deflated. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, uh, maybe I want to grab, I think I'll get the one from Growing Together. I like the one from Growing Together, so, but it's, I guess none of them come in pink though, do they? So it doesn't really matter. Hmm. What sort of chair? Honestly, just these might be cute, especially because we're setting up this game table for the party, so. Oh, we do have a treehouse. I could put the game table up there, but I'm okay with putting it over here. Do you want to play some games with your little friends? I like that idea. I like that idea. All right. You think there's one in pink? Maybe it's purple? I'm not sure. I like this one. It's okay with the white and the pink chairs, though. I think it's fine like this. Okay, we need to have Sims chatting. We need to have Sims eating. I might have... Honestly, Barbie, what are you gonna grill? Veggie burgers? That might be a cute little dinner for the kids. Georgia is going through a phase and only wants to wear his bear suit! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that is fine. I get it. Great. Perfect. It actually kind of is iconic. I kind of like it. It's pretty good. All right, everybody. We're going to come grab some food. That counts as Sims eating at the same time. We need to watch TV at the same time, too. Do you want to come watch? Hmm. Maybe we can watch a movie with all the other kids. I like that. Can you ride the horse in it? I actually don't know. Let me find out. Where's the horse? Come here. You must be able to, but I'm curious what it looks like. <laughs> you ride the horse in the costume? I would like this screenshot, actually. Let me see. Oh my God. That's so... Ooh, yeah. 
No, 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 no. Mice and Prince is not my merch company. The only merch website that is mine is lilsimsyshop.com. lilsimsyshop.com is the only merch that is mine. A good thing that you can do to check is to go to like my own channels and see what's linked there, okay? If it's not linked there, then it's not mine. There is fake merch out there, which is not mine. <laughs> lilsimsyshop.com is my merch. Please don't buy from fake merch. I think it's lilsimsymerch.com that is the fake merch website. Um, that is not real. Do you see this? This is a fake merch website. I don't own this. I don't know who runs this. It's not mine. Please don't go there. I'm literally begging you. <laughs> this is there's They've stolen my photos, but it's not me. So this is fake. Okay. The real merch website looks better. This is the real merch website. <laughs> Uh, this is the the real real merch that you will find here is is the official official merch website okay um, so anyway um, please don't buy things from fake merch websites good rule of thumb is to make sure that like when you're going to anything that belongs to a creator is to make sure it's officially linked on their real page so um, but anyway yeah they're giving out free cat socks with people who buy the hoodies which is kind of exciting so. All right, <laughs> suspicious, oh sorry, anonymous the sub gets to, su to suspicious broccoli. Thank you so much. And Roka, thank you for the 12 month resub. Do you wanna ride the horse? I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Oh my God. Legend. Yeah, Zemus, it's actually way more common than you think that uh, people do fake merch websites. There's all kinds of fake merch on things like Redbubble and stuff too. Um, it's actually like, unfortunately, extremely common um, that that people do that. Even we had a charity merch collection a couple years ago for my St. Jude streams and people made fake versions of the charity merch and put it up on Redbubble, which is in my opinion, such as like that, you can't get worse than that. Like the proceeds of that shirt, it was like a, it said cool cats against cancer. And the proceeds of that shirt went to a children's hospital and they made fake versions of that. Like you just, the, the internet is horrible. People do stuff like that so often. But like, what kind, what is wrong with you for that? That's unbelievably messed up. But anyway, it, we were able to get them to take it down on Redbubble. It's pretty easy on Redbubble to do stuff like that. But, um, it's just, it always happens. People make fake versions of everyone's merch. So it's just like, especially bad when it's a, like a charity drop and the proceeds are going to charity. And like, it's just, what is wrong with you? And it was like directly affiliated with St. Jude too. I've never done, like, I, I didn't do it with where we like, um, I was selling it and then I was like, oh, I'll just give the profits. It was like directly affiliated with St. Jude and they still did that. <laughs> but Redbubble is full of stolen merch. So that's not uncommon. Anyway, let's go to sleep, shall we? How do you, I forget how to, um, if I press on you and I say get some sleep, time for bed, there you go. Everyone to bed in your sleeping bags, we got school tomorrow. Um, okay, I saw that, uh, Paisley, where poor Grace's, um, oh, you need to pee, where poor Grace's, Twitter account got hacked. There's a common hack going around where pe they hack people's social media and then they say stuff like, um, oh, free MacBook, free MacBook. Um, and it's like spam fake links. A general good rule of thumb also, you guys, is if you see random tweets or posts that are like, free this, you're, you didn't win anything free. There's Life is never that good. There is no free things in life. There are no giveaways that you didn't enter. Like it, those are all scams. <laughs> good thing to keep, um, to keep in mind. Zazzle have shirts with my face on them? Hmm. I haven't seen those. <laughs> well, I wouldn't recommend that you buy that for multiple reasons. One, I'm not selling it. But two, don't buy a shirt with my face on it. Honestly, I... Please. You don't need that. <laughs> please. <laughs> that is not good. That is not good. <laughs> Nobody wants that. That's kind of scary. It's probably not a cute shirt. You know? <laughs> I don't think I would wear that, to be honest. That makes me feel nervous. <laughs> 
Yeah, they have a lot of fake merch on there. I don't really want to talk about it too much because I don't want to be set, sitting here like promoting it, but there is a lot of fake merch out there. So my real merch is on lilsimsyshop.com. All right, everyone's in bed. Horsey is upset. Honestly, if I need to do it, I'll cheat the horse's needs. I don't want it to be mad at me. You wouldn't wear a shirt with your own face on it? I don't want to look at my own face that much, actually. <laughs> Will the website stay the same? Um, Arch, I would like to keep the same URL, yes. I don't have a new merch company lined up, so. Um, mm, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, I'm switching to some different merch company that I'm not clear on which one yet, so. <laughs> Hard to say. Um, I'm gonna need to fix my thingy because I killed them by accident. Oh, did you see the dead sharks just then? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's it doesn't usually do that, does it? Uh. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. I know, I'm not a fan of merch with faces on it. Like when Taylor Swift puts her face on her merch. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just not, it's not for me. It's not for me. I prefer more um, casual merch. I'm doing a slumber party in this sleeping bag in the rain. But yeah, I don't think I want anybody's face on my shirts. Oh, I broke it in the rain. Subtle. Subtle is better. Mm, the bills are 9,000. Okay, I thought it was gonna be seven or eight. But that's not, we still, we can still pay it, so it's fine. It's still fine. Okay. Things that you can wear while the people say yeah when people can't tell that it's merch immediately unless you are also a fan of the thing that's like ideal merch obviously you know two people have recognized your boo crew neck in the wild really pally that's actually really cool i was wearing i actually feel embarrassed about this yesterday um i i mean i get recognized in public sometimes but not usually like a ton okay yesterday i was at my like old local target like the my like home target that i grew up going to i live closer to a different target now so i don't go there as often but i had dropped snappy off at the vet and i was waiting to pick her up so i was at my old target i got recognized four times in 10 minutes that has never happened to me in my entire life okay it was like a lot <laughs> and i was like wow target this is wild but i was wearing my own merch shirt and i was like this i hope they don't know because i'm embarrassed I'm like out in my own merch, but I just, I like put on a t-shirt cause I was going to the vet and like, <laughs> I felt embarrassed that I was in my own merch. <laughs> no, like, like viewers, uh, Creativia viewers, not people I knew. I don't see people I know in public very often, but they were like viewers. Um, and they were like, Hey, little Simsy. One of them asked for a picture with Dan and me, which I thought was cute. Cause I can tell most people don't know who Dan is and I get it. He doesn't like make an appearance in my content, you know, but <laughs> one of them asked for a picture with Dan too, um, which I think is always fun when that happens to him. <laughs> Who is Dan? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. No shame. No, I don't think it's a bad thing. It does feel kind of like, it's hard to explain because I think it's a good thing that like people, you know, if you're wearing your own merch, it means you like it, right? But also, doesn't it feel kind of like, I don't know. It feels weird. <laughs> it is cute though. I was wearing the Simulation Gaming Club t-shirt and I like it. People ask me about it sometimes. They're like, oh my God, Simulation Gaming Club, is that a real club? And I say, no, I just like simulation games. I would never say, no, it's my YouTube merch. <laughs> Cause that would be embarrassing to say to a stranger. <laughs> that would be weird to say to a stranger. But when you, when you just, you know, anyway. <laughs> One time Dan Moore, um, the Stanley, we have this shirt that like, it, it's like fake merch for Stanley Humphrey's vegan hot dog shop is the 
joke. It's kind of cute. And one time uh, Dan wore it to um, to Disney World and the people who were scanning our tickets, he was like, oh my God, vegan hot dog shop? Where is that? Like, I'd love to go there. <laughs> and then Dan was like, uh, um, it's merch. <laughs> and then he walked away because he was too embarrassed. <laughs> but the poor person was just being nice and like saying, oh, that's cool. What is it? And Dan was like, uh, it's merch. I don't know. <laughs> He was like all stumbly, he didn't know how to answer it. <laughs> oh, funny. I get it though. It caught him off guard. I get compliments on my boo sweaters a lot. I have like these little sweaters that have little ghosts on them. And I get compliments on that a lot in public too. But it's cute, it's just like a little ghosty. So, I should have said it's in London. Imagine they're like, oh my god, I'm from London. I'm here on the Disney College program. <laughs> You wore that shirt to a doctor's appointment once, and the doctor was so interested, and then you had to be like, oh, it's a fake store. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The real explanation. Uh-oh, the Sim's still asleep. The real explanation of, oh, no, it's not a real hot dog shop. It's a pretend hot dog shop for this Sims character who's dressed in a weenie suit. So, yikes. <laughs> Bye and good luck with the grandma music. Thank you. I'll see you later, friend. Iconic. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Unbearable sadness. Oh, because you're not in your bear suit. Sorry. Oh, yikes. Okay. Do you want to come take care of this stuff? Maybe I could come plant some things. I might actually buy some over oversized crops because I never planted anything out here. Is it four? No, it's five. An extra pumpkin. Maybe I'll get some and some watermelon. Okay. Plant oversized crop, pumpkin. Plant oversized crop, pumpkin. Plant oversized crop, pumpkin. Plant oversized crop, pumpkin. Okay. Don't even hear music. Oh, it's, ex this song is extremely quiet. I've got it literally completely turned all the way up. It's just a quiet part. Not all of the soundtrack is this quiet. It was in a bad part. So. Okay. Okay. Um, plant oversized crop. Plant oversized crop. Plant oversized crop, plant oversized crop, plant oversized crop. All right, sorry everybody. <laughs> Little Simsy vegan cafe in Orlando win. I don't know if I ever want to open a restaurant. <laughs> I don't think that's for me. That seems like a really stressful sort of job. <laughs> and I'm no chef, okay? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is cute though. Okay. Okay. Die now, IRL. Yeah, seriously. Mm, maybe go take a shower. Oh, you're not even that. You don't even need to shower that much. A bakery? There's a, actually a very good vegan bakery in Orlando already. Um, which is kind of fun. Talk about stock market fertilizers. Maybe I'll get the hassle-free fertilizer because I know that I'm not going to take good enough care of these. So maybe I should just go for it. You know? Okay. Am I planning any baking stream soon? I don't know. Um, when I last tried to do a baking stream on my birthday, um, it was ruined. Ruined, I tell you, because I uh, was having some tech problems. So I don't know. <laughs> maybe when, I, um, when I've had more time to emotionally prepare, for another one, then we can talk about it. <laughs> mm, fertilize crop, fertilize crop. Okay, almost done. We usually do a Halloween baking stream though, so maybe I'll do one in Halloween again. So only like the beginning of October or something. We're playing Among Us on Tuesday, Pike, so uh, stay tuned. Not very far from now. Not very far from now. 
cook a gourmet meal. I want to try and make a handful of extra things to have in the fridge because we have a lot of sims these days. And then I think after she makes that, I might cook a cake. So, oh no. Oh no. Let's make, um, how about a hamburger cake? Fall baking's one of your favorites. I know, it's fun. It'll be nice. All right. Setting an alarm for Among Us, never seen one live. Oh, I hope that you like it. Among Us is so fun. I feel like um, there's a, a group of people that really, really enjoy watching our Among Us streams. We've, we've kind of got a, a fun little squad that plays together. And if you haven't seen them, um, it's just good vibes. It's a very like happy, yelly, um, <laughs> it's just fun. Cause we're all really good friends. And so it's kind of chaotic in a good way and stuff. So anyway, I think you would enjoy it if you haven't seen our Among Us streams. The worst thing about Among Us is deciding whose stream to watch. <laughs> you can't be squeamish, no. Speaking of Among Us, hi Steven. <laughs> 70 month resub. Oh, my dear friend Spring Sims plays Among Us with us, so. <laughs> um, anyway, 300 grave challenge I see. Yeah, I've been working on it. Uh, also, V Sheep and Maria and Night So Long and Celeste and Sammy and Callie with the subs. We got Amy with the gifted subs, uh, Toki and Cardi with the subs, Trout with the five gifted subs, and Cardi, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Grades are up, yay. I'm aging up this kid because um, it's time for James to age up into a teen. It's basically his birthday, so. Found all, my, all your favorite streamers through my Among Us group. That makes me so happy, because those are all of my friends, so. <laughs> you liking them is very good. Um, all right. Your friend Cora is here. Maybe I'll try and give Cora a makeover. See if we can give her some new outfits. I like that. Hello, Alex. Hello, Cora. I like the name Cora. I think it's really pretty. All right. Um, maybe I'll just give you a styled look. Oh, <gasps> yeah. yeehaw! Yeah, oh my God, that's cute. But you probably shouldn't wear it because you have like the bow in your hair. Uh. This is kind of peachy. <laughs> Can I make it purple? It's not the right color purple. I don't know. This actually kind of matches. That's kind of cute. Maybe I can give you like a little skirt to go with it. Oh, these little shorts are kind of cute. Oh. Maybe that's good. What do you think? Huh. Okay. Adorable. You like Tyler only, play Tyler only playing with us? Yeah, it's been fun playing with Tyler. I think he's been a fun addition to the game. Um, I've been enjoying it, so I'm glad that you like it too. I do like this little dress. I think that's cute. Maybe you can wear it in like the... Oh, the little owl swatch is fun. Tyler Oakley? Yeah, Tyler's been playing with us the past couple months. Um, it's been fun. Um, I don't know. Maybe that? That's fine swimwear. That's kind of cute. Look at that. Okay, you can wear that. I like it. Maybe you get some flip-flops with it. Cold weather. Mm. How about that? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Good. China, Dark Flower, and Bailey, and Amanda, thank you all for the subs. Okay. You play with another person too. I forgot who though. He was always red and liked to scream. 
And then somebody said, sounds like Dr. Gluon. <laughs> yeah, that probably was Gluon. Gluon, I think, doesn't like Among Us that much, but he, he does play sometimes. Um, he does play sometimes. <laughs> Maleficent, thank you for the sub too. That's so funny. Okay. Okay. Mm, we shall ask if Ken is ever coming home. That's our cat that ran away. Yikes. Is this a new save? No, this is actually a save that I've been playing in for like three years in real life. I'm on gen 17, almost 18. Um, we're playing the not so very challenge, but we started it after 10 generations. <laughs> Oh yeah, this hair color she has is custom. Cause Not So Berry has like a different color theme for each generation. Um, we have a uh, couple CC hairs for them. Oh, Crub, you're thinking of Crub. Oh yeah, Crub would have, that would be the one. I can see why you thought Crub was weird and liked to scream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the Pods family endless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Neat and outgoing, those are good traits. Oh, what do we me. look like? Yay! Happy birthday, James. I'm gonna go modify you and cast too. Yeah, that adds up. <laughs> oh, guys, guess what? You probably don't care about this, but I do, so I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. Speaking of other streamers, um, Twitch, basically, Twitch has this thing called, uh, like, shared ban info where you can specifically choose to share information on people your community has banned with like other specific streamers so like me and dan share ban information so if someone's banned in my chat when they go and type in dan's chat it'll say like suspicious user banned in lil simsy which is helpful especially for like close friend groups because a lot of times if a person is trolling me pretty bad they're you know, probably gonna troll Dan, stuff like that. But Twitch finally added a feature literally yesterday where they allow you to share mod comments now too, because before everybody was like always DMing people and like typing in a Discord server, like, hey, why did this person get banned? And then it's like, oh, they put a slur in your chat. Jeez, okay, report. <laughs> uh, but now they, you can share the mod comments also so people can see the mod comments and it makes it way easier and faster, which is very exciting. Thank you, Twitch. Much appreciated. It's about time. <laughs> so the shared mod comments is gonna make things so much, so much more helpful. It's also helpful because sometimes like, if someone like jokingly bans, like if I were to like jokingly ban Dan or something, if he went into Momo's chat, it would say, suspicious user, banned in Lil Simsy, even if I unbanned him. So it's just, it's nice to have the mod comments because then it'll say right there, oh, it was a joke. Oh, it was an accident. And then, you know. But anyway, it's, it's just nice. Uh, um, among friend groups be able to share bands like that because um, like I said a lot of times if a person's gonna troll one simmer they're probably gonna troll other simmers so <laughs> and no one gets automatically banned for it it's just a nice way to like help watch out for them you know does everyone see it or it's just you well you we have like mutual so like I I would like uh, add a friend to my shared band list and then they would approve it and then we could see each other's basically is how it works. Um, that's kind of peachy. I don't know. Peach is a hard generation to dress people for. That's that's very much orange. Oh, these are peachy. Oh my goodness, let's wear that. Is that only for partners? I don't think so. That would be ridiculous if it was. I don't think it's only for partners. So you might know better than me, but um, it is a nice feature. You can share with like a maximum of 50 accounts or something, I think. But maybe I'll put him in chess club and he can wear this cute little thing. Hmm. You should be able to do it as an affiliate. Yeah, Marissa says affiliates have it too, yeah. Hmm. That seems nice. Uh -huh. um, one of my mods banned me in Momo's chat as a joke a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And then for like multiple weeks, 
I would go and type in like Miv's chat and it would say, your message couldn't be sent because it conflicts with the channel's moderation settings because I was banned in Momo's chat. Only for a second, I was unbanned. But like Twitch knew that I had been banned by, by my mod in Momo's chat for a second as a joke. And then it was calling me suspicious in all my other friends' chats. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of funny. Um, colors, pink and orange. <gasps> Whoa. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> I'm gonna use that, I like it. This could probably work too. Yeah, I know, I'm like very suspicious on Twitch chats, obviously. Can't be trusted. Reminds you of a Ken doll from the 90s. <laughs> really? Nice. Wish you could find a suit in that color in real life. I know, it's kind of a fun suit, isn't it? None of these are peachy enough. Sometimes with this stupid peach generation, I keep going for like beige. Because it's not really working out right. Pack is that top from? Oh, this is from Growing Together, yeah? Yeah, it is. Indeed it is. Um, what sort of top do you want to wear? That's not really screaming peach, is it? I do like that. I guess this might have to do for now. Oh, these are kind of peachy. That might help. Okay. Hey, Lisa, thanks for 18 months. It's good to see you. And Dutch and Laza and Lizzie. Mary, I make up Maleficent. Thank you for the subs. I should play Bloxburg. You know, I tried to play Roblox. I encountered a couple problems. Number one, someone stole my username on, on Roblox. So I was pretty upset about that. Um, number two, I don't think I like Roblox. I didn't play it for very long. But I don't know. I don't think I like Roblox. I had to be lol Simsy on Roblox because they stole my name. So, anyway, I haven't played Roblox in a long time. I'm not really familiar with most of it. I, I like being Lil Simsy on various platforms, though. It's not bad. I'm Lil Simsy on purpose on some things, but. All right, get rid of that. Oh my goodness, we can wear the new swimwear. Yes! Yes! Okay, that's really good. I like that a lot. Um, about playing Valorant? You think I would- you think I would play Valorant? Come on. Come on. Let's be honest with ourselves. It's not for me. Eh. Oh, I like that combo. That's kind of a cute hot weather outfit, right? Maybe. No, I'm kind of a weenie about games. I I really only like simulation games. I don't really play anything but simulation games. Um Oh, this is cute. Maybe you could wear that as another one of your everyday outfits. This could be a nice little sweater too. James looks kind of like Bran. He does a little bit. Everyone in this family is so pale because I had Science Baby with, with only my Sim. Like she didn't, well, one of her kids is with someone, but um, she had a Science Baby with herself twice. And so her kids are like little clones of her and everyone is so pale because her mom was so pale. Which no judgment, I get it, I'm pale too, but like everyone's so pale. Um, what was I gonna, maybe it was the, yeah, it was this kit. This color I thought was pretty good. Okay, that'll work. That will work. Yeah, Sydney, she is. She is. Um, make his hair short, maybe. Oh, really? I kind of liked the haircut I gave him. I'm out of cast now, so I'm done. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Hey, Ness, thank you for the four month resub, by the way. Thank you so much. Did I play Club Penguin? No, I didn't play Club Penguin really when I was a kid. I was a big Webkins fan, but I never really got that into Club Penguin. So, I know that's like maybe unpopular, but. <laughs> Anyway, okay, we are dressed. How long until you age up? That is the question. Six days. Princess has nine days until she ages up. We can, oh no, I was gonna try and make friends though. Okay, um, I don't know. This person is sad because their family died. Yikes, yikes. Will James be getting recolored CC? Maybe. I I don't know if I'm all that invested in giving hairs, like, CC hairs to the teens, because I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know if I care that much. It's the problem. I have CC hair for the legacy heir, but... CC hair for the legacy heir. <laughs> Shella made that for me custom, believe it or not. Okay, what do you have next for your aspiration? You want to tell three stories from a sleeping bag and exchange a friendship bracelet. We could probably work on that today. Maybe you can make a friendship bracelet. Shall I make CC? Um, well, she made me custom CC. <laughs> she made me a hair recolor when I was live the other day. Do I remember every single Sim in this legacy family? Um. No. I mean, I would recognize them. I would recognize their names. I, I couldn't list them all off to you. There's too many names. Too many sims for me to be able to do it. I've been playing this save for too long, so don't worry if you don't know them, because neither do I. <laughs> neither do I. Okay. Creativity level nine she just reached? Oh my god, doesn't that seem really extreme? I'm gonna give this bracelet to my sibling. Exchange friendship bracelets. Oh, you need to make one too. Make friendship bracelet. This will be so cute. We're gonna be little besties. Um, What else can you do? I guess you could eat while you wait for your sibling to make it. Perhaps. Perhaps. Little squid, ultra light. Oh, the new stuff pack comes out on your birthday. That's exciting. Birthday present. Birthday present that you have to buy. <laughs> How lovely and exciting for you. Oh, Alan check. Good call. How are you doing, Alan? Food's full. That's fine. Did you make the bracelet yet? Change friendship bracelets. Snap lost her teeth. Well, she had to get three teeth removed yesterday. So she didn't really lose them. She had them surgically removed from her mouth. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Same thing. Yeah, well, I, they said lost. And I think lost oftentimes implies that they fell out, which isn't what happened, thankfully. All right, I'm gonna buy a sleeping bag, I think, and then uh, tell some stories from it. Yeah, anyway, her teeth were stolen. Stolen, I tell you. That's a cute sleeping bag they gave me. All right, tell a story about a pirate princess to your brother, force him to listen to you. The teeth lost their cat. Oh, when you put it like that, it sounds so sad. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's devastating. Did she get money from the tooth fairy though? No, actually it was the opposite. Instead of us getting money from the tooth fairy, I had to pay a thousand dollars to the dentist fairy. Which isn't how I thought this deal worked. But, you know, <laughs> whatever. 
It's fine. <laughs> okay, you told one. You gotta tell another one. Sorry, friend. We're gonna tell all kinds of stories today. 1k for a cat. Well, she had to be uh, put under anesthesia, French. It was actually more than a thousand dollars. I paid yesterday. Um, I can pull up the bill. Hold on. Let me read to you the money that I spent at the vet yesterday. I'm not complaining. It's okay. I I want the cats to be okay and healthy and stuff. Um, but let me. Oh, I have so many texts. Okay. So, first, I had to pick up my parents' cat who has cancer's medication. Thirty-eight dollars and twenty cents. Next, I had to pay for Sammy's um, kitten appointment and rabies vaccination, $170.62. Then, I had to pay for Snappy's teeth. In total, <laughs> Jesus, um, in total, 1,000, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. In total, $1,159.57. And then, I also had to pay for Frankie's spay. $600.91. In total, to the vet yesterday, $1,970.35. <laughs> but obviously the dental is very expensive because she had to be under anesthesia for a long time and did a full cleaning and she got a chest x-ray and it was like a whole thing. Um, but yeah, yesterday was a real doozy, as some might say. Um, the vet, at, when, when we were checking out, she was like, oh my God, I don't even wanna say it. I don't even want to say it. <laughs> um, they gave me a $200 discount on Snappy, though. I think because they felt bad. So, but anyway, yikes. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> At least the cats were free, you know, found them in a sewer. And Snappy hasn't really had any health issues until this year, so. That's good. That's with the discount? Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Where's the punch card? Anyway, um, it was a rough one yesterday. So. Emmers, really? You had to pay that much for a dental for your little dog? I'm really sorry. That's horrible. Very, very pricey. Um, very, very, very pricey. Um, once had to pay over $6,000 for your dog's emergency surgery. Yeah, my parents' dog, Bimini, has had uh two emergency surgeries that were like five thousand dollars each in her life we call her the million dollar dog when she was a puppy she had a tumor on her head that had to get removed she's totally fine she's like nine years old now all is good and fine but she still has a giant scar on her head because she had a big surgery when she was a little one um and then she very recently hurt her leg and had to have a surgery on her leg as well so we call her the million dollar dog because yikes <laughs> yikes but she is healed well, so. Um, all right. Would you like to get leftovers maybe, little one? Maybe, maybe. Pet health insurance sounds good right now. Yeah, I don't have uh, pet health insurance on Snappy and she's also extremely old now, so I don't know if they would, um, let me. Gonna get pet health insurance on the kitties, though, now that they are babies. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if they would allow me to insure Snappy at, at this point in her life, 15 years old and with existing health issues. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't cover pre-existing conditions, so it's, like, not really feasible for her at this point, but anyway. And I don't know if it would cover a dental for her. I'm not sure. It depends, but. Wouldn't let you insure your cat when he got real sick. It was the worst. Yeah, insurance companies don't want to help you. So if your cat has a lot of pre-existing problems and they weren't insured before, um, and I assume that the dental probably wouldn't have been covered either. So anyway, anyway. Depends on the company and stuff like that. Some dental insurances uh, are like reimbursement only after you pay it and all that sort of thing, but oh well. It would if she didn't have dental issues when she got insurance. Yeah, well, exactly. At this point, it's too late. She's too old. She already did it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know you guys mean well, but it's like, 
<laughs> at this point, you know, <laughs> there's no point with that. I'm like, you should have done this, because, um, anyway, anyway. Okay, speaking of pets, I gotta bathe pulp. And then, let me, f I'm just gonna cheat the horses and eats, because I don't want it to be mad at me. Okay. Does State Farm offer pet insurance? Interesting. That's kind of fun, Christine. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, you, my friend, can go to bed. I probably should redo your room a little bit more, but I don't really care to right now, so. Ken has returned! I won't be speaking to you, Ken, sorry. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the, everything about this is kind of horrifying, isn't it? The cost of it all, the insurance existing at all, I don't know. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> everything about this year has been very chaotic for the pets in this family. The past like two months literally have been so like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's okay. It is okay. Come on, go to sleep. You're not even that tired anymore. Age up, check. Oh, we aged up one of the teens already. Go to sleep. The other two aren't close to being aged up just yet. Oh, it's the TV is on, that's why. I forgot I had a frame TV there. Oh, she's broken, that's why. Sleep. Sleep. There we go. Got it. Got it! <laughs> it's fine! I hate that. Ever since Horse Ranch came out, I've had these weird problems with my sims just like freezing and not doing anything. Is this an early stream? Actually, am I always stream at this time? I usually stream from 4 to 7 p.m. ish Eastern time. Sometimes a little bit later depending, but uh, this is when I usually am live. Early for me is 9 a.m. Eastern time, and I do that on Wednesdays. <laughs> Come for the Sims content, stay for the financial and insurance advice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yikes. When's the next late night Simsy stream? Um, I think that me and Steve are gonna play some games next Thursday. We'll do a little Simsy After Dark next Thursday. Actually, fun and exciting news. Today, you guys know my friend Steve, Steven Spawn on Twitch. Today is his birthday. So if you have not already said happy birthday to Steve, if any of you follow him already, maybe if you pop into his stream tonight, say happy birthday to him, because today is his birthday. So <laughs> speaking of gaming with Steve, I couldn't game with him last night because I was um, helping Snappy obviously recover from her surgery. She literally had to be supervised after she got back from anesthesia. So I was like, I'm so sorry, Steve. Our Thursday night plans. You can blame the cat. I was like sending him pictures of her at the vet. Like, look at this, she's falling over. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. Oh. It'd be funny if we got an insurance ad right now, though. I feel like State Farm had a big uh, Twitch era, so. Okay. Just got the most cliffhanger ad ever. Heard came for the Sims content and then ad. And, then, and the rest of the sentence was stayed for the insurance advice. <laughs> <laughs> the ads keep making it seem like there's more drama happening in the stream than there actually is. <laughs> oh my god, what did she say? What did she say? Oh, she's talking about insurance. Well. <laughs> Ice blue flames. Sleepy, thank you for the subs, both of you. Oh my god. Alright, happy time to wake up, everybody. Don't cook something, just eat. Clean out the spoiled food and then you can get some leftovers, my friend. Come on. Oh, you're sad about your bear costume. Put your bear costume on then! What is that? Is that thunder in the game? Jeez. Leave me alone, I'm scared. Watch TV. What are you sad about? From feeling hurt by someone nearby? What, you didn't sleep? Oh my god, she must have napped all night instead of sleeping. What is wrong with you? You can't be paranoid, stop. 
Oh my god, you guys, we're in for a rough day. We are in for a rough day. There's a mod for insurance for sure. Do you do you think there are Sims mods for insurance? Irrational danger from being screamed at. What's the insurance for in The Sims? Because healthcare in this game costs about 50 simoleons to buy medicine and that's it. If only life was like that. There's a health mod and a dental mod. Oh my goodness. I was, um, I saw, maybe it was a tweet or something. I forget what it was. But I saw this, like, person making a joke about, like, only Sims players. They are the only people in the world who will download mods to make life worse. <laughs> like, there's, like, period mods. There's healthcare mods. Dentist mods. <laughs> like, all these things. The, the Sims players are the only people ever that will download these things to make the mortgage mods. Like, <laughs> nobody else does this. <laughs> It's true, though. We want things to be worse. Anyway, it's fun. I like when my sims suffer. Good vibes. Realistic tuition for university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of, like, the cheap sims tuition, there's, like, mods that make the tuition more expensive. Student loan mods. Student loan mods. <laughs> Real thing. Honestly, I like them. If I was to get any of those, I would probably get the more expensive university mod. Because I find that my sims have too much money after they graduate, so I want them to have less. And that's bad. That is a bad thing to do and say. Okay. Maybe I'll come write something next. Resume writing the Book of Life. How about that? Yeah, university is far too cheap in the sims. <laughs> I want them to suffer. Alright, she just picked up the mail. I think that we would have gotten some gifts in the mail today, but I don't really want to deal with it. No, 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 Space Grace, I start streaming at 4 p.m. every single day. And then I stream from 4 to 7. I don't stream at some point between then. I always go live at the same time. I'm always live at 4 p.m. Um, so, except for on Wednesdays, when I'm live at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> but it's every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, except for Wednesdays, so. But yeah, I don't just stream at a random time. I pretty set schedule, so. Post videos at three, stream at four Eastern time is how it goes. <laughs> and yeah, I don't usually stream on Sundays. Sometimes I do, but for the most part, I say I don't stream on Sundays. Okay. She's writing a book of life so we can bring Sims back to life. Fun. <laughs> Very, very fun. All right. Book royalties received. Alan, my rat, just got book royalties. Huh. Oh, she wants to knit. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Let's buy some yarn. Sounds good to me. I'll put it right here. Wait. Honestly, I bet Alan is a very talented writer. The rats do all kinds of fun things. They're like going to space all the time and stuff. I'm sure he has much to say. Okay. Um, let's knit a beanie. Maybe a pink bear beanie. How about that? Come on. Come on. What are you doing? What, can you sit somewhere and knit? You're being weird. Resume knitting project. You don't trust Sims. Look at me go! Alan is very hungry. Oh my god. Okay, as soon as the kids get home, I'll feed him. All right. Just one more hour, Alan, don't worry. You can handle it. Level two of the knitting skill. Now my cat is tormenting Alan. All the poor guys having a horrible time. <gasps> oh, I was seconds too late for Alan. No. Okay, don't worry guys. Got it. It's fine. It's fine. He's right there. 
What are you talking about? He just wrote a bestseller too. Dang. Oh well. Okay, kid, I'm sorry. You have to go to bed. <laughs> you didn't sleep last night by accident. <laughs> Danny, Thunder, Petra, Ice, thank you for the subs. Oh, poor Alan. I replaced him so the kids wouldn't see. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry. The kids never saw Alan dead. They have no idea what happened. It's fine. All right, let me talk to Pulp quickly, too. Um, pet. Talk to pet. Okay. Um, fix the horse as well. Okay, everything's fine. Can you knit something else now? Knit clothing. I'd like some socks, please. Um, maybe like, honestly, pink raccoon crew socks seem like fun. I saw someone a second ago say, why the skeleton? Well, if you think that's bad. Yeah. So. Anyway. Are your parents going to pay you back for the other cat costs? No, Barley, I paid for it on purpose. Um, I paid for it on purpose. I have less creatures to care for and uh, less people in my household and expenses than my parents do, so I was being helpful by uh, covering the cost for them. <laughs> I'm not going to make them t pay me back. <laughs> I know it's a well-meaning question, but no. Um, okay. Okay, maybe I'll get some more screenshots of her knitting because I kind of like this. She looks cute doing it. Oh, Barbie, you're so creative. The real question is when will Frankie pay me back? Exactly. She owes me big time. <laughs> Right now, she might not understand. She might also not be glad yet, but when she never has babies or goes into heat again, she's gonna be pleased. So. <laughs> All right. Are you grilling something? Oh God, he's bound to catch it on fire. Just you wait. Not four, Bruin. Three. Different. <laughs> Wait, you failed. She did a bad job. I didn't want those. Ugh. Add to wardrobe. Add to wardrobe. Okay. Knit clothing socks. Pink raccoon crew socks. There we go. The UK show hasn't happened yet, Brew. It's not until August of next year. So. <laughs> hey, Maya, thank you for the prime sub. It's good to see you. Uh, Jesse, Reader, Danny, thank you for the subs, too. All right. I'm proud of you for making some food. That does make my life easier, I must say. <sighs> this is Brandon. Do you want to be his friend? Give bad knitted things to Sims you don't like. No, I kind of wanted the messed up socks. I think it's cute to have them. Uh, Janine, the, the vet wants to spay and neuter the kittens when they're about six months old. Um, that's the discussion that's been had, so. That's what we will do. They're only 14 weeks-ish right now, so we're not quite there yet. We can probably start saying it in months now, <laughs> but. Um, I've been just tracking it in weeks so far. <laughs> but, anyway. Are any of the OG townies still alive? No, in this save, they've been dead for generations and generations. I'm- this is- this kid is Gen 18. So, like, the OG townies, like, the Nancy Landgrabs of the world, she's been dead for so long. How many weeks old is Snap? <laughs> well, if she was probably born in, like, June-ish, 2008. You know. <laughs> can I show the family tree? Yeah, I can show you the family tree. Hold on. This might take me a second, so bear with me. Um, tomato. 
Poppy, Clayla, Piper. Okay, this is the family tree. So, 792 weeks old. There you go, my cats are 14 and 792 weeks old. Cool. <laughs> anyway, so I've been playing the save for a long time, basically. Yeah, I've added new townies every once in a while. I'll go on the gallery. I um, I use this hashtag, look Lil Simsy on the gallery. People can upload like Sims and stuff to it. And when I get new townies for my game, I'll oftentimes go on that hashtag and like download Sims that you all have made. A lot of the, the Sims on that hashtag are like your legacy families and stuff, which I kind of enjoy, so. Um, I've been grabbing them that way. Maybe I can get a little mailbox. They have little orange one. I don't know. So if you're looking for townies too, the community posts their legacy sims up there sometimes and stuff, which could be kind of fun. Okay. Um, you're gonna go play with your rat. You're awake again. Get some leftovers. Maybe you can play piano afterward. How about that? It's hashtag look Lil Simsy is the one on the gallery that I like to use. Look at her knitting, it's so cute. Use that hashtag for townies in your game too, yeah. <laughs> it's just nice. I like having other people's legacy sims and like the sims they're actually playing with or if you just make sims in general if you wanna put them on there, I don't know. It's kinda cute that we have a little community vibe going on with it. <laughs> Did you actually finish that successfully? Oh, good. Um, would you like to knit a sweater now? <gasps> Yay! Okay, um, what should we make? Let's make the pink women's sweater with dress. Okay. Okay. Christine, you're actually playing through with Elphaba, so she has milestones and stuff. That's really cool of you to do. We already, so basically um, what we're gonna do, we're getting a little bit ahead of, ourself, of ourselves here, but the next generation after Peach is green. So Princess, her kid is gonna be the green generation. And the green gen is gonna marry a spellcaster sim called Elphaba that my Twitch mod Christine is making for us. And Christine is is like gonna play with Elphaba's parents so that she like plays a whole childhood of her and then has like milestones and stuff. <laughs> I think that's so cool. I didn't realize you were gonna put that much effort into it. So I'm very impressed. That's gonna be fun. And then I'm gonna steal your sim. Green gen named Shrek. Oh my God, we could call our next gen sim Shrek and Shrek will marry Elphaba, and we can get a dog and call it Donkey. You guys. Okay, we're getting really ahead of ourselves. Uh, what Alan's hungry again? I thought I fed you when I got home from school. Oh, geez. I don't know who Princess is gonna end up with, though. Her name is inspired by Princess Peach. So that's something to consider, I guess. <laughs> okay, use the bathroom, take a shower. You can stop knitting. As a kid, teen, or young adult? Um, I, mm -hmm. maybe a teen, Christine? You think that we should marry someone called Mario? Oh my God, or Daisy. We can marry someone called Daisy. Wait, you guys. Wait. I think that is the way. <laughs> we can have Peach and Daisy be together. Or Bowser. You wanna marry someone named Bowser? Oh, we have to marry someone that we meet at work. Oh, that's the other thing. That's part of the rules. We have to marry a coworker. And we have to be a cop. So they have to be a cop. But we can just change their name to Daisy, it's fine. 
That's no problem. <laughs> we can just rename them. That's no problem. Whoever we meet, we can just fix it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Peach and Daisy are supposed to be sisters though. Oh, are they? I don't think I knew that. Thought they were besties. Okay. Maybe have to rethink that plan. I don't know. We could meet a criminal at work. That's true. They aren't sisters. Okay, they aren't sisters. I think they're just besties. And it doesn't matter because the Sims won't be sisters anyway. Maybe I'll marry a criminal. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes once we actually start the job. Because she's only a kid right now, so we have plenty of time. That is so extremely unethical of us. If we were to, like, arrest someone and then date them, what, they're gonna be, like, I'm gonna be, like, booking them at the jail and then flirting with them? That's so wrong. That's not acceptable in any way, shape, or form. It's The Sims, but it's very bad. <laughs> that is very, very, very bad. It's okay. In The Sims, we can do whatever. I mean, I've got a pile of graves in my front yard. This isn't very good either. No one's stopping me from doing that. Sounds like a Kindle Unlimited romance novel. And I say that as someone who reads Kindle Unlimited romance. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness. All right, everyone's in bed. I'm gonna lay in bed and read my book tonight again, I think with Worm while I wait for her. I, I hope that she's less wibbly wobbly tonight. The Mario Wiki says Daisy is Peach's cousin. That's fine. We can marry her cousin. And again, it's the Sims. They won't actually be related. That's okay. <laughs> Maddie, do something you for the subs. Cousin is way better than sibling. You know? And honestly, I have reason to believe that the babies, that Frank had a baby with her sibling, to be completely honest with you. And the babies are fine. It's okay. You know, it's fine. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know for sure, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Is this the hill we're dying on, Simsy? Are you really trying to justify incest on stream, Kayla? Really? <laughs> the kittens are fine. They're fine. No, cats don't really consider these things, so. Anyway, um, let's use the bathroom. Shall we? And then get leftovers. Do you need Island Paradise for the Sims 3 version of Not So Berry? Honestly, Sims fan, I have absolutely not a single clue what I put in the rules of the Sims 3 Not So Berry. I wrote that so long ago, I legitimately could not tell you a single one of those rules. So I don't know. Maybe? Not sure. I don't remember what the rules are. So. Okay, let's get leftovers. If you don't have the pack though, you can just, you know, do something else that you might think is similar. <laughs> it's no big deal. The claim that she is Peach's cousin is unconfirmed, merely a rumor. Interesting. Lots of rumors about uh, these Nintendo characters, huh? Okay. Um, you take a shower. You're fine. Oh, I guess you can't shower. Sorry, you have to go to school. I didn't take care of you either, so you go to school also. Time for bed. Oh, you just don't want to have the pack installed because it's laggy. I get it. You'd probably be fine without it. I say just don't use it. Oh, your social is very low. Okay, I'm gonna talk to a dog to fix it. Look who it is! Legend! Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Um, give vet treat. Just to boost your wellness. You don't actually need one, but it won't hurt. This is Pulp, my beloved. Greatest character on the world and in, in the whole planet. Okay. I might give you a bath in a second, Pulp. Feel the love. Simstagram pet. You know. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Harvest Fest tomorrow. Ooh. That's not bad. We can try and celebrate for real. Oh, Danny, thank you for that sub gift, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, Purple, Pulp has been alive for a bit. I made Pulp in the Orange Generation, and the Orange Generation is this Sim's dad. So Pulp has been alive longer than Barbie has, for sure. Um, but I keep using age down treats so that she'll never die. But Pulp is definitely older than this Sim, and this Sim's an adult. So... <laughs> When Pulp passes, are you going to make an in memory of Pulp YouTube video with his greatest hits? I, here's my current problem. I don't know if I can imagine a world where I will ever allow Pulp to die. I've grown so attached to this dog that I, I think she might have to live forever. I'm also kind of in my can't handle pet death era. Um, cause my family cat has cancer and Snap's got kidney disease and I don't know. <laughs> so maybe I'll just never allow my Sims pets to die again. You know? Seems like a good idea to me. <laughs> so Pulp can just be immortal, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just keep using the age down traits and I'm never gonna have a problem with it again. Actually, I don't really care about Ken, but Pulp, Pulp, I, nothing can happen to Pulp, so. Okay, would you like to go make some more food? We made Barbie before the Barbie stuff happened with the movie Marie. <laughs> Her name is Barbie because she's the pink generation of Not So Berry. So it's it's more of a pink thing than a Barbie movie came out thing. Because I mean, you know, if you're gonna have an entirely pink themed sim, like Barbie is like kinda... Is that mud in the entry always there? Oh yeah, I, 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 I put it there. It's like a rug, a series of rugs, so. <laughs> Okay. I'll just finish making this. You can like cooking. I think I might age up, I don't know how old Georgia is, but I'm over it. I think I might age up Georgia today too. I'm ready to start getting a move on into our teenage years. So. Okay. We made an omelet. I might bake another cake. Science lady, not Meg. Jules, thank you for the subs. Oh no, come here. Oh no. I want a pink cake. Strawberry cake. There you go. How close are we to finishing pink gen? Um, honestly, we've done it all. <laughs> She's got all the skill maxing, we finished the aspirations, so we did all the things that we needed to do with the pink generation. I've got the postcards, like, we did all the things. Um, so we can start moving on if we wanted to. If we wanted to do like a little bit of a time skip, we even could and like age up the kids early if we get bored, but I don't know. Princess is not quite, you can invite over Brandon and Cora, that's fine. Grades are up, not bad. I'll age up Georgia, how about that? Add birthday candles. I don't think I'll age up Princess today. Maybe I'll like get close or something. I won't age her up that early because I don't want her to be the exact same age as her siblings, but. Um, Child of the Islands, okay. Maybe you could like nature then. Maybe you can be into fishing. Georgia Potts. Let's go give you a makeover. See what we can do. 
boring? Who, me, Jesse? Okay. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> it's our only message in my chat. Anyway. I'm going to get my sim taken care of and dressed up here. No, he's not bad looking. I think yeah, they both ended up kind of cute. Considering they are clones of their mother and their mother is cute, I guess that makes sense. Because <laughs> they were science babies that we had with only Barbie. And then Barbie had a science baby with someone called Lizard, and that's who Princess is. So she doesn't only have Barbie genetics, so she's not a clone. But these two are basically clones. So. Okay. Mm, what sort of hair do you want, buddy? Cool kitchen stuff. Thoughts? I kind of like it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Is Lizard still alive? Yeah, she should be. She's just, her and Barbie are like best friends. So. Um. Oh, it's so hard to do this peach thing. I don't think I like that. This one's not good enough. Peach is just such a weird color. What even is peach? Hmm. Why did I do this? I already used these t-shirts for my other sim. Oh, that's kind of peachy. Hmm. Okay. Okay, maybe we could have some of the, like, I like these jeans. With a lot of lighter orange and tan. Yeah, you kind of have to, because this is just, it's not, anyway, when I did this, when I wrote this challenge, I was 17 years old, and I have to be excused from my actions, okay? It's not my fault, I didn't think it through. I was just a child, okay? <laughs> well, how could I have known the consequences of my actions? Um, those are kind of cute. Ooh. Maybe you could have like a watch or something. Your peach jet ended up being mostly beige. Oh my God. I think that's what mine's gonna end up being a lot of too. Maybe we could wear a little hat. Is there like a little peachy hat? Hmm. You know what? I never give my sims actual hats. I don't really think about hats all that often. I kind of want the beanie, but I don't know if it comes in. Oh. We can do it in gray. I like that. That seems nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. Um, I know this is like, oh, this is kind of good. Okay, that might work. The hair is from the cool kitchen stuff pack. Um, and this is from wedding stories, sorry. Wedding stories. Does this come in a matchy matchy color? Of course it doesn't. That would just make too much sense. We'll do gray. Um, ugh. Maybe just like some simple shoes? Mm. I don't really care what his shoes are. <laughs> Athletic wear. Um, eh. This is the swimwear kit. Maybe he could wear that. Maybe I could find something kind of peachy for his shorts. Yeah, all the stuff packs have cast and build by stuff, yeah. And gameplay. So there'll be like a ga some cool gameplay stuff, there'll be some clothes, and there'll be furniture. So it's like triple the size of a kit. Um, pink and orange. For only double the price. I say only, obviously, you know. Only is kind of a stretch, but <laughs> it could be worse. <laughs> Um, how about just like a tank top with these? I don't really care. Are you actually gonna wear this? Probably not. Like, let's be honest with ourselves, so it's fine. 
kits should be cheaper. Yeah, I agree, but they're never going to do that. <laughs> they're probably making really good money on the kits, I bet. And they're, they're like, comparatively, um, a lot, like, cheaper and easier to make than other packs that have um, more like gameplay content in them because they don't have to animate anything and animation is kind of expensive and uh, the most time consuming out of all that asset creation so um it being oh i didn't even know there was a pink swatch on that it uh them doing the kits is probably uh, a good money maker for them so Ooh. yeah should bundle the kits it would be really cool if they had kit bundles i would i would very much enjoy that if if they had like a three for ten kind of vibe that's ideal situation for me i don't know if they would ever actually do that but i would like them to do that i think that would be so cool so um i kind of like that If you you buy all the kits if they did that. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see why you would be maybe more inclined to buy the rest of the kits if they did that. If you like don't already have them, if you were able to get them at a discount, I I bet that more people would buy more of them, but I don't know. Hmm. Um That's fine. You only have the Desert Lux kit from when it was free. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cute. I don't blame you. Some of the kids have some really nice stuff in them. It's just really hard to justify the cost for, like, some furniture, you know? Or, like, some clothing. And it's a shame, because it is nice. It's nice clothing, it's nice furniture. It's just really pricey. $5 here, $5 there, and it adds up so fast. So, um, I, I totally, totally get it. I get where you're coming from. Um, I want to look at colors. Hmm. I think most of them I have a hard time justifying the cost of. Some of them, like, I really like the greenhouse kit, to be honest. The greenhouse kit is one of my favorite ones they've ever made. If you were to get one, I'd recommend the greenhouse kit. But that's kind of based on my personal preference and how I tend to use a lot of stuff like that. So... The book nook kit also I really enjoy, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I really like the book nook kit, so. You like the pastel pop one? Yeah, pastel pop has some really cute stuff also. This is the thing, it's, it's very dependent on you and your own personal style and like what you like the best. You, you know what you would get the most uh, use out of. And there are a handful of kits that I think are honestly quite, quite good, but. It just can be kind of hard to justify the cost at times. I like that shirt. I don't know. If I, I don't think I realized it had that swatch. Use the clutter kit in every build. Yeah, that's a good one too. I like that one. Ooh. You also bought pastel pop in this house. We stand plumbella. All their best kits are collabs. I'm telling you, the the collab kits are always good. Dinner date night. Have a good night. Hope. Have the best time. You're going to like a fun restaurant, aren't you? Didn't you say like a fun new veggie place or something? Don't remember what you said, but it sounds it sounds good. So I hope you have a good time. <laughs> I won't be going out tonight. In fact, I won't be leaving the house because I have all these cats to take care of. And Snappy, I don't want to leave alone. <laughs> so you're getting vegetarian shrimp. You're gonna eat shrimp. You better hope that he didn't hear me say that. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> you leave him alone. Shrimp, you better run, buddy. <laughs> okay. When does one generation start in Not So Berry? Um, you know, Arrow, there is a little bit of overlap in Not So Berry with the generations. So, like, I you will oftentimes still be playing the previous gen's finishing goals while you're working on, like, the child of the next generation. So, like, I start working on skills as a kid and as a teen and stuff, but sometimes their parent hasn't finished their stuff either. So there is sometimes a little bit of overlap between generations when they have kids. 
so. The joke, by the way, is that one of the kittens is named Shrimp. My, my cat is named Shrimp. So what do you mean you're eating fake vegetarian shrimp? <laughs> but I think the overlap is nice because it makes it have give you more to focus on, so. And more time to work on things. All right. We are aged up. I like your I like your outfit. I think that it works. I think it's pretty good. Okay. I was going to keep working on your little uh aspiration and then I got distracted and never finished it. So, sorry to my brother. I have to come tell him a story. Come on. Fun fact, candidly, Kayla's cat is named Sushi. Yeah, Brew, and you talk about eating sushi every Tuesday. That's messed up. Messed up. <laughs> okay. You need level six social skill and achieve gold in a silver party event. I already did that. Can I say I did it? It's too late. I already did. Okay. Um, you need to achieve level six of the social skill. You have level four of the social skill. Social skill is boring. We can talk to dolls to build social, I guess. Hmm. Not the storms again. Oh my goodness. All right, Barbie, what's up with you? Um, oh no. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. <laughs> We're gonna get struck by lightning trying to do this. How funny would it be if Barbie died? No, that's bad. She did finish her generation though. So like actually how hilarious would it be if she died? I'm just saying. I want her to get struck by lightning, like, genuinely really bad. She won't die from the first strike. And we have teens now, they could take care of everything. We'd be fine. Everyone's leaving. Princess is going through a phase. Oh no. She will pick up an instrument any chance she gets, yell often, and turn all radios up to 11. I guess that makes sense. She has to play an instrument for her generation, so. What are you doing? You're getting the video gaming skill? Ugh, that's not what I wanted you to work on. Every time you say they won't die, they do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, okay, do you wanna chat in the chat room, kid? Oh my God, the spraying for bugs is horrible. I may need to get one of the kids to help me. It's like an all day sort of activity. Are the pet bowls empty? Oh, maybe, I haven't filled them today. Yikes, sorry to the pets. I got it. I got it, hire a ranch hand. I probably should, but Barbie needs to work on her garden as like part of the, um, as part of the legacy rules. So I'm okay with her. Oh, I guess they don't need to have them clicked on individually. They just do it, don't they? You're gonna have a miner go outside in that weather? Yeah. It's okay. Oh. What, you need to pee? Well, too bad. Keep, no, don't spray for bugs. Maybe you could start weeding them. No, you need to pee too bad. Okay, that's fine. You can come use the bathroom and then go to sleep. The ranch hand thing, unfortunately, still kind of doesn't work, <laughs> so. You heard it here first, folks. Simsy supports child labor, especially in acclimate weather. <laughs> Lil Simsy supports sending kids to work out in thunderstorms. She must be stopped. Oh, now the rain stops? Are you actually kidding me? As soon as I finished. Of course, of course. 
Well, I didn't finish completely. I still have to read everything, but we'll do that tomorrow. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, look, it's my rat! Oh, buddy! Okay, this is my sim. He died of rabid, rod rabid rodent fever many, many years ago. That's my favorite ghost. The If your sim dies of the rat disease for my first pet stuff, their ghost is in a rat costume and it's filming at the mouth. It's kind of iconic though, right? Oh, how about clean the rat's habitat and then sleep? Thank you. Um, I have to keep cheating my horse's needs because it gets glitched out there. So I just like cheat it and let it happen, you know? Failed to mention that you let him die. I did do that. I mean, here's the thing though, right? When, when you are offered the opportunity for your sim to be killed by a rat, you have to take it. Like, I, I would, I mean, I'd do it again, if given the chance. Some things are just meant to be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some things just have to be done. I don't know. I didn't make the rules. Your sim killed his work rival with puffer fish, and I'd do it again. Yeah. I love harassing Simsy about the sims she's killed, but not this one. This one is justified, says Christine. <laughs> Very exciting. Yeah, honestly, Martha, the, the rat death from my first pet stuff is like a big selling point. It's like kind of the reason that you should buy it, so. You dare me to do it again? I would. If any of these sims got bit by a rat and started developing it, I i mean, I would let them die. So. Easily. It, it wouldn't even be a, a question. Like, I wouldn't have to think about it. I would just let it happen. I was tired of having so many sims in my household, so I made my elder sims work out until they died. Oh no. Yeah, the Sims team didn't promote the rat death enough at the time. And you know what else? I think that the existence of kits has altered our perception of the worst stuff packs a little bit. Like, we we feel better about some of the worst stuff packs because we've seen worse now with kits, like, uh, in, like, the pricing models a little, you know? But I don't, like, the the big controversy around my first pet stuff had a lot to do with the fact that it, it came out right after Cats and Dogs, and then it had a bunch of stuff for Cats and Dogs, but you had to have Cats and Dogs for it to work, which is still infuriating. Like, I stand by that. I think that's really bad. But I also believe that if they made my first pet stuff today, like, five years down the line after Cats and Dogs, people would be like, oh, cool, more pet stuff. And I don't think they would be as mad about it being pet stuff that you have to have cats and dogs for because we haven't had new pet stuff in so long. I think that it would go over a lot better. But because my first pet stuff came out right after cats and dogs, it was like, you're scamming me because you made stuff that you could have put in cats and dogs and then didn't and then gave my first pet stuff right afterward. You know, the timing was bad on that. So, hi Shanna, you should play Sims. If you've been thinking about it, I mean, go for it. You don't think so? Still DLC for DLC is stupid? Yeah, but the whole My First Pet Stuff pack isn't isn't DLC for DLC. It's like the rat stuff plus some extra things with cats and, that can be used for cats and dogs. A little bit much, but like even Nifty Knitting comes with like some, you can make clothing and Nifty Knitting now for the, um, the animals in cottage living and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't really agree that it's entirely bad. It sucks that cats and dogs are behind a paywall because then they can't make stuff for them again in the future. Um, cause I, I'm not mad. At, like if they made pet items now, I don't think I would be that mad. Like I would kind of enjoy having more cat and dog clothing. I like the idea of more cross pack stuff like that. And I, I don't even think that I would be that mad about, and I don't want them to do this, but if they made a kit for it, I would be mad, but not that mad. I think some people would, more, would be more mad than I am, but like, I just would like to see more pet stuff and they can't really do it anymore because the pack is so old, so. 
Um, well, yeah, they're not exclusive, but you can still make them, Rabbit Fairy. Um, but anyway, it's been a long time since Cats and Dogs came out. What? When did it come out exactly? Let me look it up. November 10th, 2017. Like, it's been almost six years since it came out. So, but everyone would be really mad if they did that. So, <laughs> they can't. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't be that furious about it. And I think that if my first pass stuff came out now, uh, the perception would still be bad, but not as bad as it was when it first happened. Because my first pet stuff, let me look up that release date too. Because my first pet stuff came out in March of 2018. So like a few months after Cats and Dogs came out, we got this like weird DLC of stuff that everybody was like, is this like the scrapped things from Cats and Dogs? Why are you selling me stuff that should have been in a different pack? So it was a very negative reaction when it first came out. Um, and I think that makes sense. <laughs> but if it, if it had come out more recently, it wouldn't be as bad, I don't think. You graduated in 2017? Yeah, so did I. <laughs> Long ago. <laughs> um, anyway, I like that it has a death in it, though. The death is kind of big. It's kind of fun. All right, happy Harvest Fest, everybody. Uh, to celebrate, I'm going to make my sim come weed all these crops. <laughs> There's more bugs. Then you have more weeding to do. I'm actually going to make all the sims come help me. Not you. You're a child. You can, though. You think there were more vocal haters of The Sims 4 back then? That's interesting, Christine, because I think that in general, The Sims community is significantly bigger now. Um, like, there's way more people and therefore more, like, aggressive Sims haters. But I don't know. Maybe you and I have distanced ourselves more from it a little bit more recently, so we don't see it as much. I mean, it's valid to be mad about my first pet stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. But, like, <laughs> there, with any game, there's people that are going to hate anything they do, no matter what, which is kind of what we're talking about. So, um, anyway. The Sims base game is free now, too, which kind of helps change things a little with it. I have been such a massive fan of The Sims my entire life that, like, I don't know if I could ever be a Sims hater, so... <laughs> Oh yeah, people don't compare Sims 4 to Sims 3 as much anymore. That's a good point, Christine. And I, I think that has to do with a, uh, there being just in general a significantly younger player base of the Sims 4 these days. Like a lot of these kids didn't play Sims 3 nowadays. The Sims 4 has been around for so long that like the, there's a core audience like you and I um, who played many Sims games. And then there's like people who were, you know, I mean, geez, born in 2014, <laughs> like, and I, they play The Sims, so they don't remember The Sims 3 or what came with it, um, to compare it to it, because they weren't alive. But, anyway, kind of interesting to think about. I never played Sims 1, no. My first Sims game was actually My Sims Kingdom, and then uh, I was primarily a Sims 3 player. That was the first, like, uh, main franchise sims game that i played when i was younger i didn't even play the sims 2 when i was a kid because we didn't have a computer when the sims 2 was around so i started with the sims 3. i have played sims 2 now like as an adult but i i hadn't played sims 2 then when i was young okay use the bathroom oh my god i know the sims 3 store ah uh, <laughs> the sims 3 store makes kids look cheap the Sims 3 store was wild. I can show you guys it right now. We can go look at what's for sale right now. Um, Sims 3 store. So a Sim point is one cent. Therefore, one dollar is 100 Sim points, okay? Let's look at the Sims 3 store, shall we? Let's take a little trip down memory lane. I need to pause the game before I do that. So on the Sims 3 store, they sold many, many things. For example, we had little sets. This is kind of kit vibes, right? Like, um, you know, old Miller Tea Time tea set. Oh, currently not available for individual sale. That would have been 500 points. It was a part of the brunch at the old mill set, which was 1700 sim points, okay? And in it, there was 28 items. 
We had grandma's canning station, the tea set, which is just the tea set. The water wheel. We had some stairs, fireplace, chimney. Uh, we had a fence, a well, butter churn, gate, some stuff like that. Um, just this was $17. Okay. Um, just that. <laughs> It's cute, it also would have come with the lot, so you would be able to look at that and have that. But this is probably similar to like stuff pack vibes in The Sims 4, um, so like 10 bucks, you know? Um, maybe in The Sims 4, it would have been 17 in The Sims 3. Um, there was a, a very significant amount of things like that. Look at this, the worlds. If you wanted to buy a CC world, maybe you wanna have Lucky Palms, cause Life Simmer used it in her Generations Let's Play. Standard version, $25. Gold version, $35. And that's just for the world. And it would come with a couple premium items. There was like a gambling thing and a wishing well if you bought the premium version. But like, the prices were, it was very expensive. It was very expensive. Um, so it's a, just a different vibe back then. It was way pricier. Obviously, most people didn't buy stuff like this. They released it way more often. Um, I used to want some of this stuff so bad. They used to have this like make me an offer thing where if you pressed it, it would like give you a discount on a couple items. I'm not logged in, so I don't know if it'll work, but they would have this make me an offer thing and I would sit here and I would do it and be like, maybe it's gonna be cheap. I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's kind of interesting because they would give you like a little discount instead of 808 sim points. It was going to be 499. Stuff like that. But yeah, it was very expensive, the Sims 3 store. So a lot of us um, look back on this and think like, oh my God. <laughs> um, this one, look at that's a 40% discount on stuff that I don't even want. But then you look at some of the clothing items, right? Fairy folk furnishings and attire. I've never even seen this one. Oh, I have this bed. I'm logged in now. Um, but yeah. It's just pricey. It's just pricey. Remember that shirt? Yeah, they would sell like one shirt for like 89 sim points or something. <laughs> Ooh. I have a couple, uh, I have a a small amount of Sims 3 store content. I have some Sims 3 store content that was acquired through other means. Um, <laughs> and I have some things that I've bought as an adult off the of Sims 3 store. And sometimes they would give you Sims 3 store sets free when you bought expansion packs. So I have like, there was like a ballet studio set that I had from that and a couple other things, but that is a cute house. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Do you like my graveyard? It's, I mean, it's beautiful, right? Nothing to see here. <laughs> I have a lot of them. I collect them actually. Anyway, <laughs> you have some Sims 3 store conversions for the Sims 4. Yeah, there's actually some cool stuff on there. I loved the like the toddler stuff. There was like the little um, playpen and walker. So the toddlers could be taught how to walk and talk by themselves. Oh my God, that was the first thing and only thing that I had off the Sims 3 store for a long time because I begged my mom to have it because I was like, please, my Sims need this. I need to have the walker so my toddler can teach himself how to walk. It's so important. <laughs> please, mom, I need it. <laughs> and that changing table, the bath changing table, oh my God. Yeah, I had those three things. Those are my, my only Sims 3 store things for a long time, so. I am mainly used to your legacy challenge on YouTube. What on earth about the graveyard and that was bad? <laughs> okay, I don't actually, okay, all these graves aren't actually mine, okay? The ones in the front here, you see this line of pet graves? The ones in front of that are all my Sims. I've played like 18 generations in this save file, so we've got a lot of our own Sims. The rest of these, all the ones in the back here are graves that I found. I would like see somebody dead at the bar and then take them home with me. Or I would go on like, so you know when like, an entire household dies um, and their graves are just there after they're all gone. I would like go and grab all the graves and bring them home so I could expand my collection. So how many Sims were struck by meteors? I think only maybe like one arrow. Most of these Sims I fed to my sharks. 
Or I mean, well, most of them died of old age, but the ones that like died in a tragic way probably got fed to the sharks. Is there a goal? I mean, kind of. The the joking goal is that it would be really funny if I could fill in like the entire lot with graves. Like if I have my entire yard, all the green grass space be graves, that would be really funny to me. <laughs> but I haven't been on a grave hunt in a while, so. That I guess is end game. <laughs> it's pretty bad actually at nighttime, it's rough. Cause I haven't, I, like all of them have ghosts. So at nighttime, there's always like five or six ghosts at least haunting my Sims and they break all my appliances and things, but I kind of like it. It's kind of cute, because if, if they're like my old Sims, it's kind of fun to see them. Sometimes they're strangers and it's less fun. Depends. Can we do a grave hunt now? I don't know. I wonder if... Um, let me make this Tofurky first. I wonder if enough Sims are actually... If, if enough households have actually died off to make that worthwhile. Because I'm not really sure. Fill a 64 by 64 lot and put the house underground. <laughs> that was the joke, is that we would have a tiny house and the whole lot would be full of graves. You told your boyfriend about my grave collection and he said I'm never going to her house. Why? It's a nice house. What's the problem? I don't get it. <laughs> How is Snap doing? She's been getting a little better today. She, um... She's still been very wibbly wobbly on her feet as she's trying to walk. I can show you guys a picture again. My kitty had to have three teeth removed yesterday. She had to go under anesthesia for it and stuff. Um, and so she's been, she's been having a rough day. I'm sorry, it's literally so mean to bully a cat like this, but I'm gonna show you the funniest pictures I've ever seen. So we get home from the vet, right? We get home from the vet. She was, again, having a rough day. She looked like this. Then we go to my bedroom. She looks like this. Slowly, the tongue gets further and further out. She was sat there looking like this for ages. She honestly didn't know that it was out and she looked so ridiculous. I actually was like cry laughing at her because she looked like that. And it was just there. <laughs> but anyway, she was being really funny last night. She's been doing better today. When I say wibbly wobbly, I mean she's like kind of unsteady on her feet. Um, and she like kind of falls when she walks and stuff. But um, your dog always had his tongue out removing his teeth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. She has um, two of her front teeth are missing. She's lost this canine and one of the incisors that's next to it. And then one tooth kind of further back. Um, are the teeth that she has removed. So she only has one canine in the front nowadays, as of yesterday. So, anyway, poor baby, little toothless friend. But you gotta stay far, Matt. Oh my God, you vote for the snappy emote? It would be funny to have one of these become an emote. Maybe I'll think about it. Your cat has no teeth left and you have tongue problems. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really funny. But yeah, she's, um, she's been doing good. I was telling Stream about this earlier, but the, the vet gave her a certificate of bravery. They sent me home with like a literal certificate for her of bravery, which made me happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's getting a little bit older. So she, um, a, lot of, a lot of older pets have tooth problems. You might hear it from a lot of people in chat. A lot of people don't take care of their pet's teeth. There's all kinds of information about there about ways to do it as well if they won't have their teeth brushed. To be completely transparent with you, my parents never brushed her teeth when she was little and she's 15 now. I was like nine, I didn't know any better, obviously. Um, and starting to brush them now, I don't know if she would allow it, we could try. I'm gonna try, but we'll see. Um, they say to like feed them dry food along with wet food because it can help with their diet and teeth. But some people say never feed your cats dry food. There's like all kinds of conflicting stuff. She's always had wet and dry food her whole life. She still has some dental problems, so I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> I do. I did the best that I could with what I knew as an adult. So anyway, now she's got fancy prescription uh, kidney diet food. So use Greenies dental treats to brush. Yeah, they have little dental treats for all pets. So your cat only eats dry food, but prescription, prescription strength. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You had a wisdom tooth pulled yesterday, which I got a bravery certificate. Oh my goodness, Labyrinth, I, I think you deserve one too. 
wisdom teeth is rough. Yeah, that's the thing, Celine. There's so much information out there about what's best for the for the pets, and obviously you want to do what's best. But there's just so much conflict in there. Oh, Emily, no, I, I Snap has not seen the kittens today. <laughs> She's getting a little break of her introductions from them because she doesn't need to be dealing with seeing them after her surgery. So we'll let her get back to normal first. Yeah, they use Snappy's legal name on her certificate. Her full name is technically Snapper, but I don't like to call her that because my dumb parents named her that after a fish and I don't like it. But she's like in the vet system as Snapper because I mean, we've had her for 15 years. So my parents are the ones who had her in the system at first. But anyway, <laughs> it's got her legal name on there. I just don't like it. <laughs> I know I'm being silly and picky, but I think it's silly. <laughs> says the girl who named her cat shrimp, but. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's true, so it's a lot, there's a, it's a lot easier to get information on, on cat and pet care in general these days. Um, and I think a lot of us probably, um, I mean, we only knew what our parents knew as kids. So if your parents didn't know any better when they were growing up, like it's just, it's hard. So now we know better because we have more access to information and stuff. Um, but a lot of us didn't have that when we were little. But anyway. Any fun ideas for Gens 21 to 26 of this family? I don't know, Maya. I think I, I don't know. I want to play more Generations after Not So Very. I think I'll go back to Short Lifespan too, but I'm not sure yet. But yeah, education is the only way. You just got to talk about it more, Erica, because a lot of people don't know. So... Okay. What did you- something just broke, I heard it. Level 5 of the social skill, not bad. You know, username, it, it used to be so common. I- so many people would declaw their cats, and it's horrifying thinking about now, but I- I- I'd like to believe that they just didn't know any better, those people. They, like, didn't realize how, um, absolutely horrible it was for the cats. None of my family's cats are declawed, but... Um, a lot of people, you know, didn't know. That was just what people did, and so they did. And it's it's horrible and, and cruel, but I think that a lot of people didn't realize back a long time ago. So, feed the horse. Oh, jeez, hold on. I'm talking about being cruel to animals, and I'm not taking care of my horse. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Oh, look at this little cat toy. I didn't even notice that was there. <laughs> oh, I know. It's still it's still kind of common for people to dock certain breeds of dogs' tails, and that is just horrible to me. I speak from experience. My parents have Rottweilers, um, and it's very common in a lot of places to, to dock a Rottweiler's tail, which literally they cut the puppy's tail off. Um, and one of my parents' dog's tails is docked because it already was when they got him, but the other two, they did not. They're tails are not docked, um, so they have tails, but that's very common. I think some countries are trying to make it illegal to do that, which is very, I'm very relieved by, but it's really common that people do that, and it makes me so sad for Mako, because I, I look at, like, uh, Bimini and Captain's tails, and, like, how expressive they are, and how silly they are, and I just, I feel very bad that he doesn't have one, um, and I just don't agree with that at all. My parents don't either, um, but it's really, really terrible that people do that. So he does not have a tail because of that. The purpose of that? I don't know. I honestly, I believe the purpose of it is is mainly like a cosmetic thing. Like people like to think of the big scary Roddy with no tail. I think they go around and say stuff like, oh, the tail is strong. It's going to like hit stuff. But I, that's why it's, that's not, it's, I think it's purely cosmetic is why they do that. So, I roll. But yeah, they do that for a lot of breeds. They'll dock their tails for a lot of breeds, and it, I just don't agree with that at all. It's really terrible. For a lot of dogs, it was historically for hunting reasons. Is that really true? I don't know. I don't know enough about docking tails, to be honest. I just know from my experience about those specific dogs that my parents have, but... For herding breeds, they claim that it helps with balance, but obviously most dogs are just pets and not working dogs. Yeah, I don't know enough about that to know for sure if that's even true. Like, I've never really looked into the 
anyway. I don't really care about the justification people try and make about it, to be honest. <laughs> I just don't agree with it, so. Anyway. They cut the ears on your dog, too? See, I don't, I just, I don't understand that at all. I can't imagine doing that to a dog. It's just heartbreaking. But happy tail is a thing. I mean, but that's, I mean, I guess if we're talking about some sort of medical reasons, but that's a little bit different, aren't we? Um, yeah, Hitch, exactly. That's, it does happen a lot when they're very, 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 very young. <sighs> anyway, sorry to talk about this unpleasant topic. <laughs> Mari, Mia, Olivia, Celery, thank you for the subs. Yeah. There's other ways to treat happy tail. Yeah, I don't know enough about this to be talking about it too much definitively on stream, to be honest. I've never even heard of that, but <laughs> all I know is I one of my parents' dog's tail was docked before they even got it, um, and it makes me feel sad for him, so. Your body uses his tail on doors? Wait, like, to- are you kidding? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's really, really interesting. I can't believe that. Pets are so funny. My parents had to, um, we had previously handles on doors where you like pull it down to open, you know? And they had to, like a couple weeks ago, switch them all to knobs. Or at least the ones like on my old bedroom and my sister's bedroom. Because we have the kittens there now, like with uh, Sam and the mom cat, uh, Frankie being over there and one of my parents cats is a menace and he can open doors so my parents had to change the the doors to knobs instead of handles so that lemon can't like go in there and terrorize them i'm being dramatic but like it's probably for the best if we can keep him out until they've had more um proper introductions <laughs> you know with slow safe introductions no cat break-ins basically but he's too smart so we had to replace the handles on the doors <laughs> he's been fooled he's been fooled You, you named your yellow gen cats lemon, really? I think I named my yellow gen cats mustard in this game. And we had a dog named corn also, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of funny how we can do that though. Do the same thing with your cat who opens doors? Yeah, it's cute. And he couldn't open the door to like go outside. So it wasn't a problem, but it's probably for the best if he can't go in there and mess with Frankie while she's like recovering from her spay now and stuff. You know, it's like he doesn't need to be going in there. So <laughs> replace the door. It's fine. Or not the whole door, just the handle. Sorry. Oh my God. Replacing the door would be a big ordeal. You knew a cat who could escape a shower door? Oh my gosh. Snappy is not crafty like this. She's not good at that. Lemon is also just bigger though. He's kind of a big cat. So he's tall enough to reach the, the handle on the door. Your dogs open door knobs? How do they do it with their mouth, maybe? Are they big? Your cat loves the shower. <laughs> really? I Snap, I only have one memory of Snap doing a dumb shower thing in recent times. Ken aged up, uh oh, yikes. She does, cause my shower now um, is glass and it doesn't have a door, it's just open. So she comes in and out pretty easily, but she doesn't get into the water part. She just kind of stands there. But at my old house, my shower was like in the tub um, and one time, well, only one time, snap, I watched her, I was in the shower, and she was looking for me, yelling. She comes around, jumps in the tub, and then, like, peeks around the curtain, and I was like, oh no, you're not gonna like this, you're not gonna like this, and she jumped into the shower, and understandably freaked out, but, like, you did this, you jumped in the shower, so I don't know what to tell you, snap, like, this is your own fault. Actions have consequences. Like, stop acting like... Anyway, so she did that once and only once. <laughs> also, yes, uh, Christine, Bimini used to get on the counter. When most of my parents, like I said, they have Roddy's, right? Bimini was like a little frog when she was young. She's old now and she can't do it anymore. But she used to... Not, you know how, like, when you picture a dog getting on the counter, you think, oh, they stand up and put their front paws on it. No, she would, like, leapfrog, be standing on the ground, leap onto the counter all four feet on the counter because she would try we would keep the cat's food on the counter so that the dogs wouldn't eat it and then she would leapfrog onto the counter so they had to have a, a gate in the kitchen so that she couldn't do it anymore anyway now now she can't she's too old so she can't do that but <laughs> um she used to do that when she was little like a cat literally like a cat <sighs> ridiculous it sounds fake 
It's so ridiculous, but she used to do that when she was younger. So, we had to do all kinds of desperate measures to make sure the cats could still have their food not stolen by a dog. <laughs> Your dog taught himself how to open baby gates? Oh, if my parents' dogs learned how to open baby gates, we'd have problems. Because of that. <laughs> They got, my parents have baby gates blocking off the kitchen. And now, right now, the bedroom, my sister and I's bedroom as well. Because then the cats don't have to worry about them yet. <laughs> Your dog used to just leap over baby gates? Oh my god. I have a baby gate right now blocking off, um, it's more of like a, it, it's not meant to be there to keep the cats in or out. Because I am well aware that cats can come in and out as they please, under, over, through the baby gate. It's more like a temporary barrier, so that while I'm uh, having the cats eat at the same time, that there is still a slight barrier between them. Um, the kittens can walk through it though. They just don't, because Snap hisses at them. <laughs> but um, I, I thought that it would be okay if I put a blanket covering it, um, while I was in the kitchen cleaning to have them not come out from the baby gate. I thought wrong. Sunny jumped over the gate. The cat is this big. Over the gate. So, anyway, it's not keeping any cats in or out. It does help with the separation while they're eating, though. So, I thought that she wasn't going to be able to jump over it yet. She can. She can. Shrimp hasn't tried, but she did and she succeeded. Honestly, she did twice, so. <laughs> she can't be stopped. She's, uh, she's too talented. Are the dogs strong enough to get through the gate? Yeah, but they don't try, Mel. They know that, like, the gate is not for them to go through, so they just don't try. Um, I don't know, they've never, that's never been an issue. I mean, you would assume that because they're big, it'll be, but they don't try to get through the gate, so. Okay. I will probably get off stream here in a few minutes, by the way. I'm gonna go uh, make some dinner and check on the babies and stuff. So that way we can all be uh, good and well. All right, let me feed this little guy before it dies again. <laughs> What's for dinner? I don't know yet. Might make some stuffed peppers, but I'm not sure. Yeah, dogs are more, uh, like you say, obedient with that sort of stuff. The cats say, I will go where I please. <laughs> I will do what I want and go where I please, actually. Thank you very much. But yeah, stuffed pepper seemed like a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, get to know, yeah, sure. No, I wasn't having issues finding the cats when they were roaming the house. Um, I was also like, supervising them. They haven't had like unsupervised free reign. I guess they have a little bit because I was on the couch and they were just around, but um, I didn't have any issues finding them. <laughs> Thankfully. There's not really a lot of places that are like extreme cat hideable. The only times the cats have bamboozled me and I can't find them, they've been inside and under blankets because they're so small that when they are underneath a blanket, the blanket still looks kind of flat. So I'm like, oh my god, the cats are missing! And then the cats are under the blanket. <laughs> um, but they, they haven't gotten into any extremely secretive bad places yet. So... It's entirely possible that it could happen soon, but it hasn't happened yet. And I think that I've pretty successfully cat-proofed. So, they're just too small, so they're they're good at hiding <laughs> underneath the blankets and me not realizing. I think I showed you guys this before. I, oh, I tweeted it so I can show you. But they have this little cat tree, and it's got a cushion, like, sat in the basket of the cat tree, okay? And the other, this was a couple weeks ago now, I guess, but I was, I was looking in there, right? And I was like, I literally, I, the cat is missing. I can't find the cat. I'm, I'm panicking looking everywhere, okay? Like, the, the cats were in this room, door closed, it couldn't have gotten out. Where's the cat? Like, I'm panicking, right? Under it. Under it. But do you see what I mean when I say you can't tell? Like, 
How... So, th we've had, like, that sort of issue where I, you know, tiny. This was, this was also a couple weeks ago, so um, it's not as bad. They're a little bigger now. <laughs> or it was one week ago. But how can she even get in there? Oh, it's just, a, it's just like a little cushion. So she, like, climbs under it. She, like, burrows herself under it. And they do it underneath the blankets, too. It's, like, warm and cozy in there, I guess. But... Anyway, now I build like a blanket fort for them on the floor where I stack up a bunch of pillows so it's kind of tall and then I put a blanket over it. So it's kind of like a tent and then they can sit in there and they like to go in there. But I, I actually build like blanket forts for the cats because they like them so much. <laughs> I noticed this because when they were in my guest room before, they're in a room with the door closed downstairs now um, and not in the guest room anymore. So there isn't a bed in there anymore. But when they were in my guest room, if I would be sitting in the bed reading, they would like climb under the blanket with me and like lay against my legs under the blanket. So I knew they liked blankets. <laughs> um, and they still like blankets. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I make them little forts now. They want to read with me. Exactly. Now they want to eat my book is the difference. But no, Snappy is not a blanket cat. She won't go under blankets. And and when there is a new blanket or a blanket of a certain texture, she's grown accustomed to the blankets that I have on the couch. So she's used to it. And bed blankets aren't a problem. But if you get like a new blanket and it's on the couch, she will go to great lengths to not step on it. I think that it's like a, I don't know what's under that. Am I going to fall and hurt myself kind of issue? But, like, if you're sitting there with a blanket on you on the couch, she'll, like, walk across your chest to, like, not step on the blanket. Because <laughs> she doesn't want to touch it because she's nervous about, like, if she can step safely. So she'll go, like, walk anywhere else except on the blanket. Because <laughs> she's nervous about it. And she won't sleep under a blanket either. So the kittens are a little bit different about that. They'll go anywhere. Your five-year-old cats still love blankets and they like to burrow. That makes me so happy. I hope the kittens keep doing it when they get older. That's my dream. I want them to keep it up because it's so cute. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I think on that note, I may end the stream here. We've had some fun today. We made some good progress. Next time we play Not So Berry, I'll probably age up our Peach Gen Sim to a teen so we can get uh, moving with the next stuff. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we are going to finish the stupid cruise ship. Mark my words, we are finally going to be done with the cruise build. Day four, we're finally going to finish it. So <laughs> that's the plan for tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, we're playing Among Us. That's the, the main scheduled stuff for tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, let me go see who all is live and we can find someone to raid. The cruise ship of our dreams or maybe our nightmares, depending on how you look at it, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, where shall we go? I don't know. Maybe if we went to, how about this? Um, my friend Sav is live. Uh, it looks like, oh, each room is a different trait. That's kind of a fun build challenge. I like that idea. Do you want to go raid Sav and watch the build challenge? I like the concept. I like the concept. I love build challenge stuff like this. I always think it's so fun to watch. So we'll go over and say hi to Sav. Thank you again for hanging out, everybody. Uh, have a lovely rest of your evening. Happy Friday. Um, Stay tuned for future cat updates. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll tell you how Snappy's doing and stuff. <laughs> um, I also post pictures of Snap and everybody on Instagram. If you're ever curious about the kitties, I have been keeping my Instagram story full recently. So um, stay tuned. <laughs> and, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the rest of the cruise ship build, okay? Okay, have a great night, everybody. Bye!